Legend warns of the demon army bound to... I didn't get it oh, quick away. enough. Fortunately, legend also tells of a hero flying in from the Western Ocean to bring protection and knowledge. I'm Austin Walker. Joining me today from Sabotage, Terry and Martin. Uh, also off screen to the right a little bit is Danielle Hi. Rando, obviously, and Natalie on production. Uh, hey, y'all are, are two of the people making The Messenger, uh, yeah. a, a new action platformer that's coming out soonish, is my understanding. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is a really cool game. I put a few hours into it, and I'm really excited to, to check it out with you and, and maybe talk to you a little bit about your inspiration and your goals with the game, and just kind of pick your brains about what it's like to design a game like this. If that's uh, if that's cool with you, yeah, for sure. Awesome. Totally. Do you want to give me like a little? I mean, I, so I have a save from a few hours in. I think maybe we're just going to go just gameplay. Also, Natalie, that way we can show off the rad. Graphics because it has like a really good look. Yeah, um, so you see, I'm four hours and eleven minutes in. There's some pause time in that. There's some of me pausing to deal with other stuff. So probably more like three and a half hours in, <laughs> three oh, hours in good? somewhere. Doing all right. I'm doing okay. Yeah. Um, uh, and I will say that like this is after some of the intro stuff that mm -hmm. sets up the world. But I'll let you kind of introduce the world and the character and kind of just the big picture. What is what is the messenger? So well, so it takes place in the fallen world, right where. The, all the survivors of the human race had to sort of like go in, hi in hiding right. at the western edge of a, it's like just a single island because every, the, the rest was flooded. And uh, yeah, that's, there's a legend about a demon army, you know, coming back to uh, right. attack and try to eradicate everyone, you know. Um, and so they're stuck there in hiding and all they do is train day and night, you know, just trying to survive. And you basically play this board, uh, instantly, this board ninja. Please. That, that, Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> So yeah, so you're playing this bored ninja that has to go to class, right? And he's basically like, yeah, nothing ever happens, why, why bother, you know? And obviously the demons come back on the day that you picked up the controller, right? Of course. Uh, yeah. Co coincidentally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but sure enough, some hero flies in uh, from the Western Ocean, flying in the Phoenix, and basically goes, hey, no time to explain, you gotta grab the scroll and... Uh, it was a Phoenix. ...carry it across okay. the cursed world, right? Mm -hmm. um, Without any, again, yeah, no time to explain, no... Yeah. Uh, no uh, words of wisdom as to why you have to go do this. Just go do this. Go fight these demons. Go carry this. Yeah, it's like this scroll. Like here's an excuse to do front flips and chop off demon heads, you know, and just, <laughs> let's, let's just get on with it, you know. Totally. Uh, That's so a basic you, premise, you know. Right, yeah. Right. yeah. So from there, the the, the idea, the, the core ingredient in, in designing the messenger is, is players' expectations, right? So right. We present you with an eight-bit linear action platformer. One right. Level Which, to the next. I guess I should say, like this game starts off and it only looks like this for a little while. Yeah. yeah. And you're doing jumps and you're swinging your sword and maybe you can throw some shuriken and you can eventually maybe do some gliding and some some grappling and some other right. stuff. Right, so technically not an RPG, but light elements of like, there's yeah. a talent tree going on, you can yes. spend your coins. Yes. Uh, you get a few upgrades to your character that, that, you know, impact gameplay like gliding and things like that. Right. And so yeah, and so after the first few hours, I guess maybe around three in your round Around three-ish, yeah. Yeah, so the f after the first ten levels, uh, basically you, um, you're you sent into the future where, not where, but when the messenger is needed. Right. Uh, and so that's when the game goes 16-bit on you because, you know, we represent so basically the past and future worlds, right? Right. Cool. Well, that's With the thing, the, is that it's not yeah. just that, it's not just like, oh, this is switching uh, uh, game or uh, kind of visual styles. It is literally, I'm now in the future of this world right, right, where right. things have changed. Right, right. And uh, it actually came, so the game wasn't designed from a gimmick of shifting between the two. It was, it's basically that in the script, you had to go into the future, right? And right. So, then it just became in production this discussion, how can we best represent that? And it's like, ah, oh, let's go crazy and let's do the whole world in two renditions right. to really support that, you know? So it, right. really, it really comes from the narrative. So, it would, so I guess my question is how early did that part of the narrative come up in, in design in terms of like wanting to go back and forward in, in future, in future and past? Like right. kind of what were some of your, your ideas in terms of telling a story that is a little meta and that is like mm -hmm. uh, a little bit focused on two different timelines like that. The, the, the big thing for me is, um, is surprises. Like all the games that, that, that really stuck with me were, were, that really impacted me were the ones that you had a lot of surprises, like things mm -hmm. you would not expect, you know, sure. happen in the game. And so it's very much designed from the standpoint like of how many things you wouldn't expect can we show up with, you know? Right. And the idea of, of being 8-bit for the first few hours without even hinting at there being more to it than that is part of like just revving for that sure. eventual reveal, you know? And the idea speaking being of, that, Speaking yeah. of surprising things, I, <laughs> I probably went an hour before dying oh, okay. and then finally yeah. died and met this guy right, who, right. Is, who is the demon who keeps you from dying. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Who, Quarble. Who, yeah, who, Quarble. Quarble. Yeah. Who yeah. brings right. you back in time to right before when you died 
uh, and you know, charges a little bit of a fee. Has maybe uh, has a, a little bit of a service fee associated with it. He eats all my money, all of my my time crystals, my time That's shards, death, yeah. uh, which is which is. I have the upgrade that makes him not take as much anymore. <laughs> nice. Right. The first right, right, right. That I got was that discount. Um, it doesn't work for free, you know. He does it right. No. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. <laughs> There's no upgrade for him to stop insulting you, though. No, there sure. <laughs> hey, he gave me a compliment once, and uh, that meant a lot to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I, it's one of those things where I definitely think this is a game that unfolds itself to you in a way that I wasn't necessarily expecting. Like I, I definitely uh -huh. will say that from seeing the previews and the trailers, I expected to jump right into a game that was doing the the 8-bit, 16-bit mm. switch around right away and, and expected that that was like, okay, oh, that's what this game is. And right. that is, this game does a lot of other things. And like mm -hmm. that is a really neat, okay, one second, okay. I see what I have to, I have to do and it It's one of the things that we were like, ideally we would have never even hinted at it until the game launches the 16-bit part. Because right. it, it, somebody who goes blind would probably have the best experience. Yeah. Right. But, you know, we need people to talk about the game if we want to sell do. a few <laughs> units. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. And uh, people have been uh, really interested, you know, curious about it. And yeah. that when they see how it's actually implemented in the story oh, nice. and uh, the mechanic, uh, the, all right. yeah, the fact all that right. both versions are uh, are uh, running at the same time in the engine, so of that course, we can immediately mess it up. I think, you should have uh, complimented me. That, like that ruined my play. Yeah, I think that is really I jinxed that for you. You did. Cool and interesting. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you guys talk a little bit about that? Was that like a little bit of a painful decision to kind of have to be like, oh, we have to reveal, yes. you know, in, in to, to, you know, like you're saying, like, oh, we, we want to sell this game. Obviously, we want people to talk about this game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when did you kind of come to that decision? Or did you come to that decision with PR and you were just like, oh, man, we got to do this, you know? So peek around before, before, we, uh, before we it's announced uh, the game in, in July, I uh, in January, sorry. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we we thought about it, our strategy and, and stuff, and for a long time, you know, Thierry and I, we, we didn't want to mention anything and just keep it a secret. Well, you did, uh, and I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I was like, we you, should. You, you, all, you always <laughs> told me that eventually we would probably would have yes. to. You know? Gotcha, and was, gotcha. Because you know, like, strategy, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, I would have preferred not to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But. No, we agreed it was the best experience not to have it, but Martin being our marketing guy, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, if we want to make a second game after this, we, right. might, <laughs> we right. might have probably to show have a few to say, things, you know. Yeah. 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 And that sounds like a really difficult balance in making, you know, indie games right now. Like, a, like having to make sure you get your best foot forward is so important yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing, and, and an analogy we used a few times when discussing, when, you know, just pondering whether or not we should reveal that is like, imagine, Imagine you're the, the funniest comedian, but no one knows about you. Exactly. So do you do a trailer where all your best jokes are in there, so they go in spoiled? Yeah. Or do you not tell and the room is empty? Right. It's, it's like, right. Ah, yeah. you know. Right. So at the end, it was like, well, we had good, we had good advice, and, and Martin had a good instinct, so we... We just went with it, but yeah. Sure, we, we kept sure. a lot of our other of stuff secret. Of but course. Okay. That, other that big thing, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> I imagine. The big yeah. one is, yeah. yeah. You're like, don't worry, the 3D layer of NC4 <laughs> graphics, <laughs> that's behind God. that. I'm just Put kidding. on your I don't VR know yeah. <laughs> There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, there's a question there, which is, how early did you know what you wanted to make was a, a 2D action platformer that owes some... Uh, some heritage to something like Ninja Gaiden or, or other kind of early ah, NES yeah, yeah. action platformers. That, that, that's a tough one. It's like when people ask, how long did it take to make the game? So I've been wanting to make this since I was eight. Oh, wow. And oh, I was nice. drawing ninjas, you know, and right. then I can draw. The thing about the 10,000 <laughs> drawings, it's, uh, uh, it's not true, at least for me, because I did <laughs> them and they, they still suck. But, uh, <laughs> so. But yeah, so I've always wanted to, that, that, that little universe, like every, uh, so you've played for a while, right? So every, yeah. every boss has, uh, we try to make them like not just a game mechanic, but really like a, a, their own personality, totally. each, every boss, and, and you know, a lot of humor in there as well, and, and, and things being, just things being like meaningful and impactful instead of just like, you know, I jump, therefore I am, you know, it's like, Try to try to add more, more layers into the game and the dialogue, which like about eighty percent of it is, is optional. If you right. talk to it, the shopkeeper, you know? I sure have talked all the way. I have. <laughs> oh, I have, did you get a few stories? Oh, I've gotten I've gotten a few stories. I've yeah. gotten some philosophical lectures. Oh, I've gotten that's some, it. Good. Uh, some, Again, surprising, right? Some deep surprising <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Right, okay. uh, I'm currently I'm currently saving up for this one thousand time crystal defense up. Mm -hmm. This seems like an important one, but yeah. it's so hard because I keep unlocking other really cool abilities, or I keep mm -hmm. having the ability to put points. 
other places, but I'm right. not. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a good uh, uh, ninja and save my save my time crystals for the defensive upgrade that I've been working on. <laughs> um, it's a very good shopkeeper. Someone in the. Uh, uh, Rumagen says that's a good shopkeeper. It's a very good shopkeeper. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's some good, there's some good right. uh, twists and turns with that shopkeeper. <laughs> the Ooh, music is died. great too. Yeah, I had to say. Yeah, who did really the who did the music? Rainbow Dragon Eyes. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. So he goes. So his real name is Eric W. Brown, but yeah, he goes by Rainbow Dragon Eyes as an artist that's a good name. name. Great. So yeah. he used to do like. Um, Eurobeat, like chip tune Eurobeat, so mm -hmm. Eurobit, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. And yeah. just overall, like dance metal, he would like growl over yeah, Game Boy music. Good, yeah. So he <laughs> composes directly uh, on his Game Boy, you know. Um, that's so cool. And yeah, so I was just into his old, his old thing, you know, like the Nintendo Core kind of vibe while working. It's right. always good to geek out with some uh, chip tune metal. And so he was on tour, and so he's from Denver. He's a oh, technical awesome. death metal drummer. Oh, cool. So wow. he's a full time musician. And. Um, while he was on tour, he just dropped by uh, Quebec City, and so I went to, to meet him after his set. And it was just like, hey man, you know, kind of go Nick Fury, like putting a team together right. to make this uh, <laughs> yes. this ninja game. And uh, and he basically cut me off and said, yeah, sure, I'll make your music. It's, it's exactly nice. the kind of, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah and, yeah, and we had these discussions later on where he's like, you know, it's kind of one of the reasons why you do all of this is that you kind of light that beacon that eventually yeah. opportunities like these arise, you know, because that's certainly how we got to know him, you know. Um, so yeah, we just got together and uh, it's been about three years now and uh, cool. we're having the time of our lives. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, That's really good. I'm just coming back. This has been my, so so uh, I guess a little bit of a very, very, very light spoilers. I'm in the future now. Obviously you can see I'm going between past and the future. Right. I've, I, as soon as I got to the future, it's like I have to go back. I want to see the area the game starts in, mm. in the future and mm -hmm. actually walk around a little bit. So that is where I'm at now. Uh, I really like this track. I really like this, this song. Oh, I really so like that gigantic moon in the background. Um, such a good vibe yeah, right here. Yeah, it's a this very good awesome. vibe. Oh. Yeah. Um, Glad you like it. People yeah. in the in the chat are noting that the movement feel, seems like it, it's really good. It's it's. I think one of the the things that happens in an action platformer is very much that like, there are when you get new abilities at first they can be very very like uh, difficult to use and very confusing. It's like okay, when am I supposed to use the grappling hook versus the double jump versus mm. the glide? And I think it came together pretty well uh, in this. The, there's definitely a feeling of like, Whoa. first of all, hey, here's all these cool ninjas. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Huh. Yes. Music's amazing. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, that's the fun of, uh, of breaking that wall, you know, yeah. uh, making some reference to that, the actual game. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a lot of that in this, for sure. Yeah. Okay, we have to go on a journey to get astral some leaves. astral leaves, huh? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, yeah, this is okay. That's all. You got a quest. Just find a. Yeah, I did get a quest. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, I, I, it, one of the things that's interesting too is like you said, the, the way the game unfolds itself and develops new things is like, oh, I have a map now. That's new. Uh, this, <laughs> this, this game does not necessarily start you out looking at a map and thinking about mm. this big connected world and the moment that 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 reveals itself or you know what I'll say is there's you, you ever play a game like Zelda and look at your inventory and you mm. see that there's like 30 inventory slots mm. but you only have like four things unlocked and you're like the, the narrative of the game makes it feel like I'm coming to the end of the game but like that can't be true because I only unlocked four items there must be another yeah. huge chunk yeah. there's a very yeah. similar thing here where you saw earlier I got that power gem that green circle circular token thing mm -hmm. and the I was like there's a chest that you can unlock when you have like 42 of them I have like seven of these, maybe, <laughs> maybe six. Yeah. How, there's no way this story is coming to a close yet. Mm. I know there's something more coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, there was. And suddenly I have a map and this, there's this whole great interconnected yeah. world. Uh, and that has been a, a really fun experience. And I think that's like very core to what this has been so far is this feeling of going down another layer and seeing what's down one more layer deep. Uh, mm. And then, you know, fighting some, some bosses along the way. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. <laughs> cool. uh, all right, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go from here. So yeah, can you talk a little bit about structure? Like in terms of how it all kind of comes together? In terms of, um, you know, what you're doing moment to moment. I see obviously you're on a quest now. Yeah. I'm, on, I'm on a quest. Do you sort of start it off in like a, oh, there's one overarching goal. Like you have to save the future or whatever the, the, you know, the is, big yeah. thing right, kind of right. is. And then you, right. it's like you're, you take so, quests and that sort of thing. So okay. at, first, at first the game, um, like I was uh, touching on a little bit earlier, is that yeah. when the game is first presented, it's just 8-bit, right? And it's like, here's a scroll, 
you got to take it to the top of the mountain, which is on the eastern edge of the island, right? So sure. from there, it's just one level onto the next in a linear fashion. So sure. you don't have a map. There's no like optional paths you can branch into. You just go one level after the other. Now you get to the top of the mountain and it's the expected end of the adventure, right? Sure. And everything that he touched on is that, so we have a different um, interface for the inventory that lets you think that's all there is to it. But oh, then when nice. you get, and then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you're set into the future and now you're in the 16-bit world and it's like, whoa, what just happened? So you do two more levels and then you eventually loop back. You basically save a dragon and ride it so far east Oh, that wow. you fly back around, you loop back around from the west. That's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. The Very beginning cool. of the game in the future, which is sure. the soldier village, inst instead it's a soldier's outpost now instead of a ninja village, right? Because wow. they're 400 yeah. years into the future. And now you save them. And so and basically the, the, that's when the second quest unfolds where you realize you, they gave you a scroll, you never even bothered reading it. So you unlock the ability to press a key to look at your scroll, which is the map. That's nice. And that's yeah. when it hits you that you had a Metroidvania under your nose all this time, but you had been playing a linear cutout portion of it. Oh, that's so it. cool. Yeah. And now yeah. the 8 and 16, so now you're more attuned, if that makes sense, sure, to, sure. to time magic or whatever. And so now you see those stairs, the portals that he's Right, I'm trying to work into, my way you know? back. You were right, that's you. And so now every level in the game is made in both 8 and 16-bit, and now that really affects the level layout. And there's new layer uh, levels after that, you were saying. Before we, went, we, before we started playing, you were like, oh, did you get to see... Oh. Thankfully, oh. the checkpoint is right there. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, you were saying, like, oh, there's new levels too. It's not just all the same old stuff with the new coat of paint. Yeah. There are actually completely new levels that, that unlock at that point, also. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I've not seen any yet. I'm well, so uh, did you look at the world map then? Yes, totally. So if so I if back you out zoom to it out, here, yeah. So there's, yeah. a lot, there's a lot of negative space there, right? There sure is. So the idea <laughs> is that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. eventually oh. you, you, you may or may not find new, new <laughs> things to do in the game. Who could say? Cool. And cool. so, yeah. And so, the, the go your goal goes from. Um, so he, he got a music note earlier. Yes, I did. Right. So that's the idea: is that basically there's a, a big curse going on, and um, obviously with the demons coming back all the time. Uh, and so your first quest is to is get the scroll to the mountain. Once that's done, you're in the. We call it the second quest, but it's not like it's not an optional bit or whatever. It's, it's sure, really when sure. the game unfolds. The frame falls completely. It's actually Metroidvania and all of that. Yeah. Um, and now your goal is to find all the music notes because all the, the forces or important events, they crystallize in material form, right? And into into uh, magical music keys and you want to gather all of them to create a melody to break the curse. So oh, that's, cool. the, that's the idea, yeah. Nice. Music will save us all. That's what yeah, I, yeah, I that's like what that, I, I like that. As it theme. often does. Yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. yeah. Uh, I love the the oh. audio. First of all, I love breaking that crystal. Yes, it's a very satisfying <laughs> crystal satisfying, break. Satisfying, right? Yeah. Very satisfying. Oh, God, I have no way out. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I should kill that turtle. Why am I not killing this turtle? <laughs> kill that turtle. Uh, I really love the music. The audio ducking when you go into the water. Oh, right. that's, so good. That's uh, a classic. It's a classic uh, thing to do in a game like this. But I still love it. It's very good. Cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah this looks rough. So yeah. So the yeah, the, that bass gets heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> The 8 bit track is done in a Fanny Tracker, so okay. it's an actual NES ROM, you know, oh, wow. which we awesome. sadly convert into something else for it to work in the engine, uh, but it, it would run on an NES, right? That's really cool. Sure. I guess that's, so that's my question also. Uh, that's, that's a thing that comes up a lot when you see games like this is hey, could you actually, uh, are you actually adhering to the limitations of 8 and 16 bit games at the right, time, right, or are right, you right. taking some cheats to, to make something we, a little bit more in your vision? Right, so we decided to go with, so how do I explain this? We, we kind of call it NES that could have been, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like, it, it should feel like you just unwrap this new game at Christmas Eve with your, your t-shirt over your knees, you know, right. with, with your cousin or whatever, yeah. you know? It's, it should feel like that, right? Yeah. Now, any purist will tell you this would never have run, right? right. And, and they're right. right. Uh, we're, we're, not, we're not saying like, it's not necessarily 100% uh, legit, but it needs to be legit enough that it's not just uh, it, like emo it, it should belong somewhere on the timeline. Right. It should feel <laughs> like it could have come out back then. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. So that's true for the aesthetics. Like so, for the we're following the the NES uh, color palette. You know. Right. We added I think three or four colors, just to add a bit more depth. You know, because the main thing you miss is being ten. Right. It's not really like you okay. know. So that, that's that's where we talk about modernizing the right. retro game. Right. So you don't want stiff controls. You don't want repetitive music. You know. Totally. And so it, it's, it, was, it was very much uh, finding that, that balance, you know? And I guess uh, we'll let people judge, but we're happy with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. I will say one of the most interesting things for me about the, the moving through time stuff, one, I like these little, these this little bugs. This is really cool. Re yeah. They're really great. But 
Cool. One of the things that this game does that I hadn't even thought about, because in my mind, having seen trailers and seen it briefly at PAX, mm -hmm. I'd assumed that the transitioning between the two times would be throughout the entire game, right out of the gate. I didn't realize that it would, there'd be a narrative component to it, and obviously mm -hmm. it's a huge component. Mm -hmm. The thing that I really didn't anticipate was how jarring, in a really fascinating way, it is to go after three hours of playing a game in this style. I'm, I'm staying here for, for a reason, in this <laughs> zone. In the 8-bit style, to suddenly switch into the 16-bit mm. style, it felt almost, and I mean this in a complimentary way, but garish. Like the first time I walked into here and heard these like 16-bit, <laughs> full, round, grimy mm. musical sounds, it's like, oh wow, I remember playing a 16-bit game for the first time as a kid uh. after playing the NES ah, cool. and yeah. being yes. like, this is a different thing. This feels mm. so different. And it, it, succeed, it successfully does that because you wow. spend so much time in this, in the 8-bit style for so long right. that when you finally make that switch over, it's just such a surprising, mm -hmm. weird feeling. Right, uh, right. And that's the thing is, so we didn't want to, to um because this could have easily become a gimmick, you know? Right. Well, it's just the game where you're shifting, right? And right. now the question becomes like how, like how much text is too much text, right? Well, as long as it's good, it's good, right? right. So that's the thing. <laughs> and so if, if we only lean on, on that thing, which yes, is cool, there's, there's only so much you can get out of it before right. you've seen it, you know? So the idea is to go full blown and just give you the serving that actually makes sense, right? Right. And so, so from there, you know, it's, it's, we didn't want to lean on that. And so it was important to, if the game had only been 8-bit, it should have still felt been good. Totally, it, it should have still been totally been able to be its own thing to not not just rely on that. You know, totally. So this is the the kind of hub area yeah. that you reach uh, after again after three and a half or so hours of play. Thank right. you, Natalie, for turning off those really terrible lights that oh, we have. Oh, yeah. I was like, I've oh, forgotten. Yeah. Um, we're not on camera right now. <laughs> uh, so I'm curious, uh, is there anywhere yeah. that I should go uh, of the places I have unlocked? I have. Oh, like I cannot open that portal. So yet. you can always talk to uh, the prophet if yep. you're who is if you're at a loss. Here. Yep, he'll always give you like a cryptic. A little creature is paralyzed by fear. What? That's not good. <gasps> oh, um, no. Where does the sunshine bright? That's that's the question. Mm. I think it's multiple hints, right? In front of a beautiful sunset, hungry botanists. Oh, I know who those are. I oh, know yeah? exactly who they are. Yeah. All right. They're at the top of a. They are at the top of a mountain. Are they in searing crags or are they? They're in searing crags, uh, which is here, unfortunately, right? Which I can't get there, mm. but I could go to. Uh, do I have the ice one? So I can go to the ice one and then go backwards now, right? Right. Cool. Okay. Nice. Somebody was asking if there's any difference with the enemies or how they attack in the eight bit or the sixteen bit. Uh, not so. There, oh there isn't a oh lot of difference between sure. the two worlds, be the, the, and the main reason being that we have you. Uh, because that's a very good question because we we had a, a big conversation about I'm that. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, the idea is that we're using the, the the shifting back and forth in real time so fast, sometimes just midair. Yeah. That to kind of like shift the controls on you as well, or the way you're supposed to interact with enemies would would not have felt fair. Because there's a lot of changes that can happen, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, but then I, I won't speak to, you know, may, maybe maybe a boss sure. will be shifting sure. and maybe that does something or whatever, but like, yeah. yeah. But for, uh, for the regular enemies, uh, we found that, you know, through testing that it was a better experience to just have everything be consistent. Sure, sure. Even though, like, the, the audiovisual uh, portion was... Uh, yeah, I can see that maybe, maybe it would look cool at first and then it would just not feel right. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have to look at my next up set of upgrades. So yeah, here's this this chest. I still need 36 power seals. That's a lot of power seals. Mm. <laughs> uh, expect this to be easy, Austin? I, yeah, I wish. <laughs> All right, so what am I saving up yeah, for? Yeah, the power seals are the, the challenge. That's the big, yeah. Uh, 350 for... Well, that's your uh, strawberries, like yeah. it's the optional... Oh, right, gotcha, the Celeste gotcha. style. Yeah. So you don't for bragging to, rights. If you, if you don't care for, for sure. the challenge rooms or the, the harder bits, you know. Sure, uh, oh, that's cool, yeah. Because uh, some people will find the game too easy, sure. and this is very Give them uh, something. challenging. Gotcha. Other people will say, hey, that's that. actually, you know, uh, pretty hard. And uh, oh, you can it's, go back it's hard from to, any you know, to, to decide the actual level of, uh, right. of challenge in a, in a game like this, especially when compared to, you know, the older uh, titles uh, on, on the actual NES. I always appreciate that quite a bit, actually, as somebody who definitely 
you know, I find those games where I'm willing to really put in the time and really, you know, get every single thing. How many hours into, into the breach do you have? Five hundred and sixty seven. Wow. wow. <laughs> uh, and then other times I'm like, I just wanna play it and Blow get through, through it. it. So, yeah. yeah, I really appreciate those right, options right, right. a lot. The um <laughs> the uh I'm curious because you just brought up Celeste there with the with the strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, I, obviously, there are some major inspirations here in games like yeah. uh, Ninja Gaiden and and, yeah. and uh, Metroid and, mm -hmm. and you know maybe Symphony of the Night and some other games like that in the, in the Metroidvania genre. Yeah. But I'm curious in terms of more contemporary games, well, what have been some major influences uh, on on the Messenger? Well, so yeah, I mean Celeste came out while we were already yeah, very much yeah. working on yeah. the game. Uh, we still took a good look at it just to make sure we weren't like in too much in the same, you know, yeah, totally. the same uh, space or vibe. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it would be hard to uh, to point to specific games because there, there's just so many of them, and, and to be honest, uh, we, we've played most of them, if not all of them. So, but yeah, so it's, it's just kind. Of, I think, I think for me, it's more like. How do we also take the ball forward, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, totally. And to just doing more of what we like in specific games and where we wish they went, you know? Right. And and we and we kind of go there ourselves just to see how it's how it's uh, received, you know? Right. Um, but there's a few like I mean the the um, so you've talked to the shopkeeper a little bit, right? Yes. So uh, the shopkeeper will get into personal growth and and like philosophical advice and and you know riff on, on happiness and and how we all fail to try and achieve it and things like that. Yeah. And, and so. Like, I, you never would have seen that in a Ninja Gaiden, obviously, you know, right. so I, I think that's where the, um, this idea of the, mm. the and we're not much into sound bites, but the thing we say at Sabotage is, is retro aesthetics and modern game design, right? That's interesting, yeah. Mm. And so I think this, this idea of, of, you know, recognizing that, that people are going through stuff, you know, and, and right. sometimes a game can also be an extended hand, you know, an extended hand, sorry, even though it's, it's a... Uh, Obviously, you need to do lots of jumping and attacking enemies totally. and all of that for it to be fun to actually be a game, right? Uh, but it also carries a, a message. Like if you go through all the, the shopkeeper stories, there's like a, a little fine thread connecting yes. them all, and they all kick into uh, uh, hopefully uh, understood by some uh, deeper meaning there. You know, <laughs> nice. um, oh, the messenger. I get it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you know. right. <laughs> What's the message, right? Right. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I think that's, a, that's actually a really interesting point. Like, I, I hadn't thought about that part of this, which is that, yeah, the, the even just the idea of having the characters talk about something like failure, or, or the, mm -hmm. the shopkeeper specifically gives almost like fable-like, mm -hmm. or like uh, parable-like yeah. mm -hmm. uh, little stories uh, yeah. whenever you, you, you speak to them. Uh, and uh, and that is not something that you would have necessarily seen in even, uh, you know, an SNES uh, game, you know, right. that even even as, as recently as that, mm -hmm. uh, it would have all been just about one demon lord or another, you know? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, this is not the way to go. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Okay. You almost made no, it work no, a little no, bit, but, no. you know. How do you going down here? Oh, if you, oh, wait, did I completely mess this up? Let's see. Oh, you're on the right path. I am on the right path, yeah, okay. Yeah. Me well, for what you for where for you want to go, go. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down all the yeah. way to this to the yeah. rocky crags, yeah. right. because I met a couple of uh, no good. They were not that bad. <laughs> big bulky demon boys who were yeah. doing some uh, doing some workouts <laughs> and who oh, planted hey. who planted a, a, a some sort of some sort of plant back in in the past at one point. <laughs> Oh, nope, 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 get it back. Ooh, oh, no, question. there's not one there. There's oh. not a wall I can hit. Ah, oh. I'm going to keep feeding this demon money. <laughs> but, you know, he's, he's got to no. live. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah there, was, uh, there was input lag, so I dropped. I, <laughs> that's, that's what, what was. happened yeah. there. Uh, that's what happened. You can Literally. pretend that. Yeah, if someone's <laughs> just, you know, in case someone's watching. I think my controller's broken. Yeah, it's a bad, it's just, a bad controller, you know. so. <laughs> there was a question about Ninja Gaiden specifically in difficulty and whether or not you felt you had to make it a little tough to sort of... Mm you know, be true to that legacy or not? Yeah. I think, uh, so, for me, like, the, the you know, the NES hard yeah. deal, uh, I think was often just to make the games bad, longer, bad, right? Bad, bad, yeah. bad. <laughs> you know, like, you ever feel like yeah. that? It's like there's six levels it's and an it takes you a whole day to beat. Job. It's like, yeah. but I think, that, so, I guess the short answer is it won't be NES hard, right? Yeah. yeah uh, but ma mainly because 
probably the controls are a bit smoother, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you have you have more tools, but the other thing is uh, we also have just more content, you know, instead of having you right. spend too much time in a frustrating bit just to make the game, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it won't be as hard though, you know, the challenge rooms, the, the power seals, the green coins uh, that you can get, which are optional, nice. that's where the uh, sort of, um, um, you know, like the maximum challenge, that's where it is. Gotcha. It, but that's if you care for it, right? Right, right. That's the idea that's is great. that, yeah. yeah. So if you're just looking to have a good time, go through the story, you know, and see the next pixel art background and hear the next track, you know? Sure. Uh, you shouldn't be hindered, you know? Gotcha. I mean, you still got to earn a few things because we give you some, some cool perks for your character, but like, it's, it's not a... Um, it shouldn't be like frustratingly hard, you know. Cool, you really cool. try to balance it in a way that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I actually was was a little surprised. The first ten levels or so. First, I would say the first like five. Aha! Okay, I can use this this guy to get a little extension. Not enough of one. Not enough. Oh wait, you know what? I can I can I can damage boost my way through it. We're fine. <laughs> that's what We're I good. thought. We're yeah. good. We're good. That was, was intentional. Like, that looked like you could do that. That's okay. Yeah. That was intentional. So yeah. <laughs> so you could have used your grappling hook with the icicles. Right. That's that was my plan, and then I saw that guy come. All oh, right, right. I was like, oh, I'll just use that. That'll be easier. It was you not could, yeah. easier. It was not easier. <laughs> it was a foolish thing to do. See, just when we talk about difficulty, that's that's the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, right? Give me a, oh, He's I'm trying to illustrate clearly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that was the thing. It's like the first ten levels or so. First, like I'd say first five levels. I was like, oh, this is actually really kind of easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not looking for maybe the hardest game I've ever played, but I wanted something a little bit more challenging. And then I hit the, there's an underground, like, big stone golem boss that you hit. Yeah. And I was like, and that was a really hard fight because yeah. I had not really internalized, I was playing very sloppy, I was playing very um, aggressively where I maybe should not have been, mm -hmm. uh, and I paid for it. Uh, and then, and then from that point forward, the platforming started getting difficult, mm. more and more difficult. And then there is, I'd, I'd say, one one of the stages, uh, the underworld. Mm. I hit that, and from there, it's been a really fun platforming challenge. Yeah, cool. uh, and I'm someone who is, I like platforming games. I really like this style of action platformer is what I really like. Um, mm. That blends kind of combat stuff with some platforming puzzles and and right. stuff like this. And I've really enjoyed everything I've played since that part since that part forward oh thank god i have the upgrade that heals me a little bit whenever i hit a <laughs> checkpoint uh, very necessary yeah. um, so yeah that, that that's the other thing yeah when you talk about like combat uh, kicking into you know uh, traversing the, the right. world i guess maybe we could talk about the the, the cloud step please that we have yes so there's no double jump right in the game right but whenever you hit something it gives you a jump and right. then that's true as long as you can maintain it right yep so as long as you're so in that's the air, where that little, there's a little cloud that's underneath me. Is, yeah. is oh, the nice. thing. Oh. Yeah, you can save it up until you touch the ground. Gotcha. Right. Oh, that's great. Oh, can get out of these. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Cool, this ice. This ice is gonna kill me. This is oh. what's gonna happen, that's fine. Oh. I'm just happy to give Corval some money. Yeah. You know, that's, <laughs> he deserves it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's. Any other questions from the chat, Danielle? Uh, let's see. Besides, why is Austin so bad at this game? <laughs> Awesome, you like platformers. Uh, <laughs> You're good at them. You're I'm doing right great. At yeah, there are mostly comments the last few minutes. Uh, of Eidolon says this game's art style nails an authentic SNES era style so well in a way I feel most games don't. So fair. Oh, pretty, thank cool. You. Wow. pretty cool. Pretty um, cool. And they were asking, I immediately asked a question right after I said that. There was, we go. What has the process been like for getting the visual style down? Wow, yeah. <laughs> it's a big one, it, right? Yeah, it took, it, <clears throat> yeah, that's really where you see that you learn from. Uh, so make our level artist, <clears throat> we've been working at it together for uh, about about two years, I think, oh, cool. at this oh, point. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and so the, fir the first level took forever. I mean, uh -huh. so before he actually joined Sabotage, we were, because this all started off as a, a little prototype sure. during the evenings and weekends. Mm. You know? So I guess it's probably more like three years back then. Um, and yeah, so the first level, the Autumn Hills, like the, the forest at night, right? That was the initial, like, you're a ninja, right? So you got to leave at night, <laughs> yeah. shr you know, shroud of night. And it was like the, oh, dark purple and black and orange grass. Yeah. That was like the, the initial, just the one liner of, let's see that, you know? Uh, because a big thing for me is like, you talk about making a ninja game and, and all you hear is like, there's too many ninja games, right? <laughs> and I'm like, if there, like if there's not too many zombie games, like I, I don't know that there's too many ninja games. Yeah. There's nothing against zombie yeah. games. You know, it's just like zombie games are good and ninja games are good as well. And I don't know about, but like ninja games are are 
I feel like they're always like you're either uh, you have a sword on the highway or like uh, <laughs> you're a robot or whatever. It's like, yeah. can we get like a ninja wearing cloth in a bamboo Who's forest? Who's just a ninja? There just you killing go. demons. A real ninja. Yeah. Really, yeah. there's not ninjas. too much of that, right? Right. Um, and so yeah, so we started on the on the visual style, and, and we started off with you know just the NES color palette, which is easy to find online. It's like sure. hey, just go with that and see what you can what you can make of it. Uh, and Mix uh, was already a very accomplished uh, pixel artist, you know, but he was working uh, not with uh, any specific limitations, right? So it was right. like, how do we have your style emerge right. uh, within those those boundaries, you know? And uh, so it, so to answer your question, it, it took about. I would say maybe a year before we had like one level that was like, okay, this is it, right? Yeah. And it got to a point where he did, I think, three levels within the last month. Oh wow! Of, the, of production that we had, you know. Wow. So it really yeah. went from like it was, you know, you talk about like prototyping. That's true, also for art direction, you know. Absolutely. And once yeah. we found like once we found once we looked at it and said, yeah, this is compelling at least to us you know right yeah. this is what we're looking for it feels it just feels right in a way that you can't really explain it anymore sure. you, just, you just feel it right yeah um, and, so, and so it was like yeah okay it feels right so let's just keep at it and then it became oh what about the 16 bit now yeah there right. we go you know and now you're like now okay double it. Uh, yeah <laughs> yeah so so all the frames That's have, all. all the yeah. animations have double the frames in 16 bit right uh, obviously there's way more colors yeah uh, and we get to use uh, alpha so transparency on the screen which you could do with uh, uh, SNES and you know the, the, the parallax layers of things scrolling. So now you can get foreground, you know, Perfect, so yeah. so it's getting all, all these things going so that, you know, both bo bo renditions always, uh, always basically the, to the full extent of what they could be, you know. Nice. So can I ask how big the team is? How many yeah. like level designers, how many builders, how many artists, you know, that kind of thing? One level designer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty good, yeah, <laughs> Phil. And uh, and so we have, so basically, if we break it down, there's a, uh, is it 10? I think it's 10. Uh, there's, oh yes, including me, it's 10, which I don't actually Of course, Of course, we're including you. On the game. Well, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, but so Martin is the guy who does everything except the game. <laughs> right. Which making is, sure that everyone else can focus on that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. the enabler. I call, I call myself the support character. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's pretty That's a good thing to be. Yeah. 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 You know. No, well, that's the thing. We're, I'm blessed to I'm the symmetry only worry of about making games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we call him the stay-at-home dad, but yeah. There also. you go. Perfect. There you go. But yeah, so, so we have uh, one, one programmer. Wow. We have uh, one level artist, two character artists. They do so character and animation. Sure. Um, then we have a level designer. Then we have the writer, the oh, composer spikes. for the music, sorry. Um, then I do the writing and game design, yeah, sure. and I write code about 30% of the time. Because I still have to do it a little bit. Thing and, we have, uh, yeah. Yeah, and we have a tester. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, that's but, great. But uh, apart from Savannah, who just came out of school and she's amazingly good as a character artist, an animator. Awesome. All of the other people we've been working on enough together for 10 years about oh, the wow. gaming industry. Awesome. So we've yeah. made a lot of games before. Sure. Uh, in mm. our, uh, when we used, pretty much all used to work at Fremont Quebec City. Uh, okay. We worked, okay. some, uh, work at other places too, but you know, we, we, we've been doing games for a, while, for a long awesome. time. You know? yeah. And Phil before that was uh, one of the, like, our lead, lead designer. Philip used to be one of the, the first five people from the core Our level uh, designer, Ass yeah. Assassin's Creed mm -hmm. team. Oh wow. From, from oh, the wow. first Assassin's Creed. Well so he's been thing. he's been working for yeah. He worked on the the last two Prince of well, well not the last, but the in the first Prince of Persia trilogy. Like he did yeah, Warrior yeah. Within and uh, Oh wow. Two yeah. Thrones cool. and uh, Yeah, he's got some stories. Yeah, I'm <laughs> oh, I sure. Bet. I bet. I'm sure. Yeah, very cool. And that's what's really cool, you know, for us is to have that kind of like Expertise, even though it's an indie game, you know all sure. those good principles to, bad, to you know to put into dead. motion. That's tough. This oh, is hard. Right? I'm gonna yeah. get it. I'm yeah, gonna get it. Tough. I'm committing. This is this is the person I am. <laughs> yeah, we call these the ice stashes. They look like. <laughs> look, yeah. yeah. All right, down, over. Whoa. Oh, you got nope, this. Nope. You got this. Catch that one. Nope. Gonna hit those spikes down there. That's fine. Okay. Work through it. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna let it fall. I'm gonna jump over. I'm gonna let it fall. I know. I yeah. see them. I see them. That's yeah. all. I love this. No demon pressure. Friend. You got this. I'm not jumping from high enough there. It's all right. I can get through it. You okay. Got it. All right. Nice. Had enough help. 
Good have job. Have health sure. to not have to do it perfectly. <laughs> That's fine. It's all right. Got That's it. That's fine by me. <laughs> there, all right. There was a question about uh, whether or not you folks are interested in speedrunners and mm, what they're going to yeah. do with the game. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That was the initial inspiration, actually. Really? really? Like, speedrunners wow. is like... So, that, so, I mean, GDQ events, right? Yeah. yeah. If you're a gamer, you get the Olympics twice a year. It's amazing, <laughs> right? That's and awesome. so, yeah. we, we, we all get together and we watch it every single time, you know? And it's like, just... W and then none of us can really run, you know? So it's like, how about we make a game and that, that right. if we can get them interested in, you know? And then, and then it's having game mechanics <laughs> oh. where... Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, they died! <laughs> Well, I because they so waited. I get, it's time. I get, they waited for the flat. I get it. You get. <laughs> I, well, it's a bit out of context for everyone, but yeah. Yeah. They, for they me, said we'll wait until the flower is ready, and then they waited to death. Yeah. <laughs> you have the power crystal. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can. Can I? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I know how. I've read stories about time travel before. Yeah. That's gonna fall on me. All right, let's go. Transition to a different time zone. Uh, not a time zone, that's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of birds chasing me. Where is the... I saw in the chat earlier somebody yeah, asked a question about uh, Unity. Uh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, did, I did see that as did well. Did you want to read the question? So Thierry, maybe yeah, let me find, address find it. that one. Here we go. Yep, so I looked into this and I'm surprised to see it's being made in Unity. What made you decide to go with that as the engine as and as and was layering the 8 and 16-bit levels difficult in that engine? Is it literally just two 2D planes you switch between? Oh, no, it's, it's a bit more than that. Uh, so, <laughs> but, but no, but I, the question, uh, so we basically, so I mean, Sylvain, our, our programmer, would be the, 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 the best one to answer this. I, I, I work mostly, I just code like high-level gameplay. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, so basically we have 8-bit uh, sprite and 16-bit sprite materials that we wrote. Sure. Uh, basically shaders, and so then the camera is using that, and so we, we can use with the principle of, of stencils, kind of, when you, we saw the shape and things sure, like that, you know. Yeah. And so we can, by applying materials to shapes, that's how we basically do these two. But they both work, they both uh, run at the same time. And so uh, all the things like the animators, the so we, we did components like a, a multi-sprite renderer and a multi-animator, so nice. that you, every game object has 8 and 16 bit components that are linked into that at a top level. So we manage everything as if there was no 8 and 16 bit. And it all just happened with a dimension manager, if you will. Sure, sure. Um, and so from here. Oh, you, you gave them the flower. Yeah, then. of course. Yeah, right. Look at them, they're great. Oh, they're they're, so they deserve happy this now. flower. Yeah, yeah the, put the, the flower the, in the sky. The, po the power stew is ready, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Time to chop. Chug, 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 time. chug. Oh, I love these guys. Uh, they're very Well, good. it's the one that skips legs the, and the other that does nothing. The other guy skips up your body. But together, <laughs> they're perfect. This yeah. is amazing. <laughs> Look at this. It's, it's Collis and, and Sissus. Sissus. It's, it's, yeah, uh-huh. This is great. Look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, power smash. Thank you yeah, for power so, smashing me. Yeah. And then just using Unity just came off of, uh, we had been working with it for, you know, almost seven years sure, altogether. Yeah. So it's just it's the engine we knew, you know, and, and we... Because it's not a game that's necessarily, like, very technically challenging. Like, we want to make the best water you've ever seen or, sure. like, right. you know. So it's kind of like... We, just, just knowing our way around the engine was going to save us a lot of time, and then we had enough ideas of how to approach everything we wanted to do. And I mean, Unity is just, it's just great. It's, you can make Unity do a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, you can make a lot with it, you know. Yeah. And so... And then uh, the other thing is uh, is uh, in going with uh, oh I thought you were gonna okay <laughs> um, but yeah so yeah so in, in everything that has to do with uh, you know you can use plugins easily so everything we use in level design it allowed us you know just to build a tool set where um, through plugins and then extending them a little bit we essentially have a Mario Maker oh that's so you amazing. know so you're yeah. in Unity and and you're just painting grass and. You're just painting collisions and the grass goes on top, you can paint an enemy, you hit play and the enemy is shooting, the sounds are playing, everything behaves. Oh, that's so you know? cool. Yeah. And so by using that sort of that, uh, that approach, because um, yeah, I mean, software design is as important as game design if you're going to yes. have, you know, a production pipeline where you can really roll out content yeah. quickly, you know, so we, and that's the thing for me is before, before uh, starting Sabotage with Martin to, to be, you know, a designer, uh, I, I had been a programmer for eight years. Oh wow! And so that's I come oh, from the wow. you know. Okay. I'm I'm big on you know designers. I, what I, I always wanted yeah. to be a designer, but I when looking at you know my heroes when I was younger, 
I thought I, I reckon like oh they all come from one of the crafts and they eventually sure, emerged sure. you know yeah. uh, and so for me I was like well then and it was already established that I can't really draw so <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like maybe I can write code you know I'll right. use that as a stepping stone and so the technical background is very much the, where I'm coming from in doing sure. game design, you know? So when we first prototyped the game, it wasn't our direction. It was just like a stick figure with gray boxes. Yeah. And I was like, I think the cloud stepping can be interesting, like jumping, attacking and, and jumping again. And just from that prototype, you know, it was, it was always built, you know, with like code first in mind. And then everything, you know, if you make a game beautiful before you make it fun, you can kind of delude yourself. Ooh. Yeah. We've that seen it happen, you know, it's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. a beautiful, yeah. boring game is kind of sad, you know, because yeah. you have all this art that will never be appreciated, you know. Yeah. And so it's like, let's make it fun while it's ugly, you know, and, and from there we can, you when know. When Thierry first showed me the prototype, it had this, uh, this little, uh, <laughs> you know, prototype where you only had one of the great M music tracks though, sure. and I these, did these, there. these great there control, <laughs> these great controls with the, yeah. you know, the cloud stepping, and I was sold. I was like, I'm quitting my job, and we're starting this company, <laughs> and we're making this. I mean, this. Amazing. I believe, I believe in this. That's, that's yeah. a lot of belief. It's yes. incredible. But I, I, I believed in Thierry a lot too. I think oh. I believed in <laughs> both of us together being a pretty good team. And uh, that Ooh, we could attract, you know, one. the rest of uh, my best. our team, which is uh, really, really good uh, people. Yeah, so. That's incredible. Uh, Gardra in the chat has a really good one. Did the Switch's indie success excite y'all? Did you feel like it might be a little bit more flooded now as a as a platform compared to where it was when it launched? Well, certainly more than yeah, certainly more than than when it launched. But for us, the Switch uh, just makes so much sense, you know, because yeah. coming, obviously the, the the inspiration, you know, the NES era, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Ninja Gaiden was obviously, well, I mean, it's on Xbox and everything with the, 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 the later gen versions of the game, but the initial trilogy, which it's obviously inspired by, you know, so it very much comes from that, so it kind of like, it's just a natural fit, you know, right. to be on a Nintendo platform. Uh, but yeah, for sure, I mean, the Switch, I, I think it's also a good game to have just on the go, you know, and it, it, it's not like a... I, 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 did, I never really liked playing the, you know, uh, Breath of the Wild handheld. Yeah, I was yeah. like, it deserves you the, big, the screen big screen or whatever, you know? It, it looks great. Whereas in the screen, title, yeah. I feel they, they, they just work as good because you yeah. play them on your DS and it would it would make sense, you know? So. Totally, totally. But yeah, we're really stoked uh, to be releasing on Switch. Nice. Oh, yeah. So the thing that I forgot earlier was, I pointed this out uh, to you, Terry, was, yeah. was that that when we first started and we started off playing in the Autumn Hills, yeah. I made this long trek back to that portal but once you get the, to this part oh, of the game, yeah, yeah. you can just cut through any shop to go yeah. back to oh, yeah, yeah. the time, the the right. time palace, the, the HQ, the yeah, the power yeah. of time, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, right. and that that made me feel foolish. Uh, but I am <laughs> curious. You wanted to show it off. Yeah, that's all. That's what it was. I was a choice. That was not just me <laughs> being foolish. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go down further down that way. That's what I'm gonna do while we while we continue the chat for a little bit here. Yes. Um, I have another design question, personally. Sure. So. It sounds like you had kind of the mechanics in mind, first of all. Like you had the cloud jump, you worked on the controls, making the input feel really bad, good. Bad. How do you design a level around that? Do you just start throwing things in? Do you start kind of seeing what would be fun? Do you, or do mm. you kind of start from more of an aesthetic thing? Like, oh, this is a nice level. We're going to have some falling mm. you know, icicles. We're going to have some spikes here. You know, right, what's right, the, right, what's right. the like, more of the so, approach that you take? Right, cool. Uh, I love talking about this. Yeah, I love hearing about <laughs> it. Uh, well, the waypoint. <laughs> yeah. So, I, and I mean, so let me know if I'm uh, if I ramble too much. No, no, please. <laughs> please. I'm not. interested. Um, yeah. No, but I guess so. Uh, first off, for me, uh, the 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 first thing I did was the the so moment to moment gameplay, right? Yeah. Like per screen, you know. So what are you doing, right? So you're playing a ninja. And you should look the part, right? So that was the yeah. main like. So okay, so you you have this dance with gravity, right? And now, how, now the idea is to, how do we give you excuses to look cool, basically, right? Uh, and so the cloud step is, is very much, I think, achieves that in that you're constantly like fighting off falling and, and you can maintain your hang time. And I mean, we, we have a few speedrunners we send keys to and, and they awesome. send us like footage of what they pull off and it's like, whoa, no way. Like they won't touch the ground for four screens, you know, and <laughs> things like that. Yeah. Because you can glide into jump, into reaching with the dart, into jumping again and things like that. And so, but yeah, so basically it's just from that premise of, okay, it, it feels satisfying to, to, and the prototype was, you know, play tested by a few people and it's like, yes, it does feel good to do the, the, the like hit and jump and hit again and jump again. It's like, it's like, okay, let's play with that. Uh, and from there, there were, there were two separate uh, um, uh, tracks that we followed. The first one was just like, 
just technical level design, which was let's let's have basically a scene in Unity that's a, it's basically like a gym, right? And it's just every screen Ooh. is nice. an idea, a thing. Like, is this fun to do with the cloud step? You know? And we're like, okay, here's a lava pit, and you have three lanterns, and so you just have to jump over it. Okay, you get it. Or oh, here's you're at the end of a falling falling floor, and you gotta succeed in just hitting one thing and then jumping to just catch a rug that's at the top of the screen, you know, and things like that. And so we had all, we had, I mean, I was going to say hundreds, but it's probably actually hundreds of just these little moments. Wow. Just yeah. these like one, one vignette, one like, you know, like this, this screen. in music yeah, or something yeah. like that. Almost yeah, like a, yeah, I Oh guess, wow, this yeah, is like yeah. a really great little bit yeah. of right, gameplay right. to work with. Yeah. And nice. so we just had like, so much of these were just like this little moment, this one input is really fun. Now we don't know how hard it is compared to the others. We don't know where it fits in or whatever, right? And then the level in level design, there's also the, the bit about the narrative, right? So mm. I first drew the whole world, which w well drew. I, I, I put squares <laughs> in, sure. in a Google document with yeah. titles. Sure. <laughs> but yeah. it was in which order, right? So it's like, oh, here's the village, here's the catacombs, here's the here's the marsh with the mushrooms, here's the you know bamboo forest. And so yeah. Yeah. right. And so all of these, and, and then it was like, okay, do these environments make sense? Will it have good pacing? You're not like underground for four levels in a row, and then there's sunlight for three levels in a row. So it was all about like that pacing of, do you see change and things like that? Uh, and then it became, okay, how does that look like in the world? So it's like, okay, this level is more vertical. Oh, this level is underground in the room, so we should have more crumbling elements. Nice. Oh, this level, you're going up the mountain, so obviously it's more of a vertical you know, level. And so basically what we have then is, oh, you just opened a new, I did. A new waypoint yes, there. Yes, I finally nice. got one, yes. <laughs> A new waypoint. A new waypoint. Oh. Huh? So, oh. Oh. <laughs> See, there right. we go. That's my friend also. That's my friend from the from the past. And I don't, yeah. I can't get there because there's all this lava. I guess I'll have to get mm. another ability or something. Mm. To, We'll have to see. But he's right. so scared. He's so scared. You're just leaving he's him terrified. there. He's so scared. The poor thing. <laughs> I just want to help him. Yeah. Yeah. So these are phobkins. They're all. They each have a, a phobia, and they're named after it. And so this guy is Pyro, obviously. Right. Yeah. Oh, the first one that I found. Right. The first one that I found was uh, Necro, who's afraid of the undead, of yeah. death in general, and he was of course found inside of some sort of giant, inside Ca of the catacombs. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they all Which, ironically ended up at the worst possible yeah, place. Yeah, weird. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor things, yeah. So, yeah it's kind uh, of unfair <laughs> of us, I guess, too. Yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, so from there we have, so we have two things. So then we're interested about how long should a level last, right? Sure. Mm. Again, to that point where it's good as long as it's good. There's no real definite length that, that makes sense. You know, it's just you just play it and, and sometimes you feel, ah, it's, it's dragging, so. Let's move on. And so then Phil did the first approximate layout of levels. Like, okay, this one is left to right, this one is right to left, this one is you go mm. downwards, this one you're climbing up, you know, and all that. And then we're like, okay, it, it's long enough or not. And, and sometimes you'll just have empty screens. But it just gives the proper idea of how long it will take to sure. navigate. And then he, he designs uh, per screen. Oh, wow. So yeah. every screen should have, and that's very much, you know, uh, a thing you pick up by playing Shovel Knight, you analyze it yeah, a little bit, yeah. it's like, yeah, that was definitely, like, every screen should have, it's like, that's the one thing I'm supposed to do. Right. Right, yeah. because a lot of, like, I, I don't want to say necessarily what you can call fun, because that's always really hard to define, but yeah. part of it is, like, you're, you're predicting and then acting it out and then receiving the result, and that's part of, like, that feedback loop of, like, yeah. oh, you feel engaged, right, and, and playing. And so the idea is that you should always be looking at something Oh, I want to go there. I'll try this, and you're like, "Oh, it worked. It didn't work, right?" But if you're just like, if you're just like moving forward, and, and there there isn't always a, a clear goal, and so a clear goal. So we try to have that like, I think all these layers of meaning. It's like, oh, yeah, I gotta save the world, right? So I gotta beat these three levels. So I gotta jump over this bit. Sure. So I gotta dodge that bird, you know, and, and then all that at meaning every, at every sort of right, right, level right. of meaning. Right, right, yeah. and that's yeah. the idea right. that if we if we sort of like do good enough and, and uh, frequent enough reminders about the story and the setting and all of that, then hopefully, <laughs> yeah. that, that's the intention, right? Yeah, is that, that meaning kicks into mm -hmm. every little action that you're doing. Right. And so there, there's kind of like multiple, like you can just zoom in on uh, this one specific screen and we ask all the questions and we iterated on that as much as, you know, yeah. the script in general and all that. And so the idea is to cater to all these, uh, yeah, does that make sense? It does, that's okay. amazing. I, that's right. really, really instructive. I. I Play around in your just to have fun. Oh, cool! You know, yeah. Kind of thing. So right. just I'm have fun and also do some teaching. Like, don't do, undersell yourself. I know, oh, but right. like in terms of anything yeah. I've ever actually put out. But like, 
I'm always so fascinated by platform design right, in particular because right. this is the, the type of game I loved so much when I was young and always mm. like going to kind of come back to. Right, so right. I'm right. always so interested in sort of the process right. that different teams approach. The, and the, the 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 I like the bare bro the bare bones approach. Is like the, it's it's you can't use uh, you can't hide behind the explosions or, or, or right. lengthy cinematics or right. like you know it's just so compelling the 3D that it's fine. You know it's like. You, that's all you get, you know. It's like it's be fun. mainly two <laughs> buttons, yeah. and so yeah. if it's not fun to manipulate, you know, and that's where I think like the the, the cloud stepping is a, is a core mechanic that's that's kind of visceral. So it makes it like every screen has that you look for it and you find ways to use it, you know. Right. And all the paths and all the the again the game gets harder later on, but if if you want to really uh, maximize by using that mechanic mm -hmm. from the first screen of the of the first level. You can already do something that's really hard to pull off, but pays off. You know, so there's yeah. always like the easy path that you can think yeah. that's a bit longer, yeah. or you or can skip you a little bit really if you're skilled. You know, again, yeah. thinking of the speedrunners who will yeah. Oh, yeah. very quickly master this. Yeah. And uh, we've seen it with a few people. Like Feels the, like they already have just <laughs> 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 uh, no yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. Um. Awesome. I don't want to show too, too much here. Okay. Um, what I would love to show off is a boss battle, though, and I'm curious if there's a way to go back. We could, if there's a thing, uh, you, uh, we can... Uh, if you hmm. So you got the seed. You could plant the seed and find I an could, upgrade yes. and go to a new level. Uh, let's and there's do that. A boss let's do end. that. Where, uh, nice. where, where, should I, where should I be going for that, to plant that seed? Uh, Any idea? You know? Where, where's the flower bed? You remember that? I don't remember that. You just were there. So oh, we're, with the two ogres. Oh, oh, right there. Okay. So I, tried, I thought I thought that I tried to do it there, and I, that didn't. That didn't. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I, I may just not have gone back after <laughs> I picked the power thistle. I may not have actually hmm. gone back, and that is why I went there. I was like, oh yeah, that would be a good place to go. All right. So let me. Would be the, awesome to find a bug. We have a. That would be great. A bit Live of time bug left. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, to fix. It was just yeah. up from the portal here, right? Yeah. Gotcha. We've got All a right. good question, a very waypointy question here. Mm. Of it's I know awesome. It was. I couldn't plan it because it was the future. I didn't oh, try to plan it back. You got to go back. That's what yeah, exactly. You got to time there you travel. Go. There you go. Uh, of Idolons is saying that's awesome. Y'all are so into what you're making. How do you balance caring a lot about the game you're making with life outside of it? Mm. Seems like that could be difficult, of course. Uh, for me personally, the answer is that I don't. Oh no. <laughs> that's not uh, good. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's been two years of uh, eat, eat and sleep messenger. I see. Uh, yeah. yeah, which I don't recommend. For sure. Uh, yeah. Which I would never recommend. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, uh, I mean, I don't know if that if that's a way pointy answer, but uh, <laughs> no, but like, but, so um, like this game for me is is kind of like uh, it was very much about healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so. I, like I just had to go all in. It's how I. It's what I felt I had to do as a as one final step to leave a lot of things behind sure, in sure. my life. You know, and, yeah. and so starting my own company and all of that. Yeah, yeah. It all came out of a process of, of not letting people tell me who I am anymore. You know, mm -hmm, and, and mm -hmm. so every boss in the game, everything is a, everything that's in the game is a thing I wanted to look at, address properly, and either like shame, destroy, or redeem it. You know. Sure. Uh, and now sure. it's done, and now it's in the rear view, and I'm not yeah. looking back anymore. You know. Gotcha. And so yeah. it was like it, the, the process in making this was so emotional and so personal. Um, like there's bits of the game, I'd rather post a, a naked picture of myself than have that in the game, and sure. I still left mm -hmm. it there because the team really encouraged me into like, sure. no, this is good. People will, will relate, and I'm yeah. like, eh, you know. Um, so yeah, again, I mean, yeah, I don't think people should work uh, that hard, but. Uh, it made sense because on on the personal front, it's also what I needed to do, you know. So okay, in, yeah. so in that in that instance, I'm happy with with how it all played out. But uh, yeah. Are there any are there yeah. any kind of lessons you learned in terms of like, hey, I want to make this thing. I'm really passionate about it, but maybe I don't need to completely break myself. Or what are some like good habits that you you can think about doing going forward to make sure that you're not like crunching and and burning out uh, for future projects, maybe. Right. Right. Um, Wow, it's, um, a, it's a tough one. But it's a big one. You know, yeah. a lot of <laughs> no, we do have an audience that is that includes a lot of devs, and I think that like this is one of the things that they care about a lot. Is mm -hmm. like, hey, what are some what are some habits? What are some tools? What are some like ideas? Just as much as they're they're interested in like making sure that they you know uh, understand what good level design looks like. Making sure mm -hmm. like, hey, how do I make sure that that making the things I love doesn't kill me? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I, I think uh, I think it's it's just I mean. I don't know if I have a good answer on this one. Yeah. But 
the thing is, I think we all know, we feel the signs, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you say something or when you do something, do you feel weak? Do you feel like you, right. you, feel like you listen to yourself or not? And I, I think that's the thing, I think is we all know when we don't, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we don't listen to ourselves, we all know. And it's like, okay, in this moment, I kind of failed myself, right? Right. Yeah. I, I wanted to. I needed a bit of time or whatever, but I, but then I started feeling bad because other people would be there, and you got right. this fear of missing out or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. When you're listening to that, you're probably in a bad place, mm -hmm. I guess. You know. That's yeah. a. That, I think that's really good advice. Yeah. And that's As the thing. Who's about to take a week off because because I desperately need it. That's yep. absolutely <laughs> right, 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 right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Uh, a, a tough thing to do sometimes, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing I think is 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 accepting is like not shaming that part of you who right. can't help, but but go with, with what's like easier, what feels right in the short term, mm -hmm. you know, uh, is to accept it, right, so that yeah. you can integrate it and you can change it. Because if you just reject it, it's still there and it'll make in increasing noise until you until, yeah. until you, you burn out. Address it. Yeah. yeah. Or, or right. Until and well, you burn it'll out force or you to you address it. Right. Physically. It'll physically force you. Yes. If you don't listen exactly. to the signs, it'll eventually exactly. You know, it'll tie you to your bed for it's a few short, months. You know? Yeah. yeah exactly. Absolutely will. If, that's, <laughs> absolutely if will. that's how you'll pay attention, that's what your body will do. So yep. you might as yeah. well listen while it's easy. You know. Yeah. But he totally. says, I want this guy to have his own philosophy podcast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, the, the, yeah. the shopkeeper, the shopkeeper is, my, is. is my soapbox. Yeah. I was going to yeah, say, yeah. Go. Play the oh, game. Yeah. In the, Play the game. You, the will, shopkeeper. you will absolutely is. get some of that. The closest yeah. thing you get the, that the, podcast. The, shop, the shopkeeper like will that. give you, so, I mean, so to, uh, to Kichiri, is it? Yeah. yeah. I think so, I think yeah. that's who yeah. it was, yeah. So, I mean, the the... Just to touch on this really quickly, uh, yeah. crippling anxiety got me about 10 years ago and I couldn't leave sure. my room for like about four months and then uh -huh. I couldn't leave my apartment for a few more months, though I couldn't leave my room. Uh, you know, and it's been 10 years of just, you know, personal growth and then reading up on stuff and, and, you know, just trying to connecting with people who relate, you know, and things like that. And eventually, totally. and, and this game is, is kind of like this coming of age, this, this getting over all of this, you know, yeah. and so all, all the enemies, all the bosses, all the story arcs and all of that, and, and the one message for those who will care to, to get it, you know. Uh, and so the shopkeeper has all, all the main takeaways, all the things I wish I would have been told, mm. yeah. um, which would have saved me, you know, a lot of time and a lot of panic attacks, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. You know, again, it's an action platformer. If, 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 <laughs> yeah. that's all, if that's all you care for, then that's fine, right? Totally easy to ignore that um, stuff. But, but the messages are, are the, the stories and all of that, it's all in there. And, and again, 80% of the dialogue is, is optional and it doesn't really have to do with gaming. Yeah, it no, has I, to do more with, you know, harsher realities. Of, yeah. Of I would say even the main story stuff around, you know, cyclical natures and stuff like that mm. has some degree of like, hey, there's this person who does not want to live up to any responsibility and then over time, realizes suddenly that that yeah. he's in the middle of something a lot bigger than just himself and like right. that stuff that stuff even even the non-optional stuff touches on some of that stuff right, right, right you know right, right, right. yeah well uh well thanks i'm glad you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's because it's the thing it's it's your your like there's a lot of intentions in the game, right? Mm -hmm. But then you, you you never know how people will receive totally. or, or what they will care for or if they will care at all, you know? If all you see of it is a ninja doing front flips, then hopefully there's a hearty dose of that as well, right? They're, they're cool <laughs> front yeah. flips. They yeah. are very yeah. cool front <laughs> flips, to be fair. Yeah. And some chip tune. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you got that oh, you, need, you, you, you got to bring the chip tunes, yeah. <laughs> I always right. think that's very powerful, honestly. I mean, you know, I think everybody on Team Waypoint has had some anxiety at oh, some yeah. point, right. so we're oh, all yeah. like, yep, this is good well, to hear, or, or, you know, Or kind anyone of thing. who's honest yeah. with themselves, right? Exactly, I mean, yes. So that's yeah. the thing, we all hit the wall at some point, and Absolutely. the longer you deny it, the harder you hit it, right? Yep, yeah. Yeah, It'll and the moment back, you start yeah. talking about it, everyone's like, I know, right? It's like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> right, exactly. You're always the like, first to bring it up, and then everyone relates, you know? It's like, can't we, can't we just like, yeah. 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 Much simpler question, where Gazelle says, or, or someone asked uh, what the target platform, or Ozymandias wanted to know what the target platforms were. Uh, is it PC and Steam, or, or sorry, Steam and Switch? Steam and Switch for now. For now? Yeah. Gotcha, okay. Gotcha. And, and Steam is also is PC only for now. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. We didn't get into like Mac version or, right, or Linux. Or Linux. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. We don't even really know that there's a demand for it, so it's like, eh. Ah, Hard to tell. There's PCs. always a, a bit of demand, but it's also, like you said, Right. There's a lot of work doing getting there. Mm -hmm. People need to rest now. Yes. yes. <laughs> People yeah. need to rest. Sleep. Yes. And, you know, yeah. and then we'll be back. Yep. And you know we can address you know can other platforms. Right. Yeah. Maybe you know other surprises. 
And we also, you know, we're super excited and starting work on the next game, so. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Rest before that. Excited. Yes, then. yes, obviously, yes. obviously. Yeah. Much needed rest. All right. Yeah. Power of true sight and a, and a, and a candle. Great. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the candle. I like this guy. Hey. Yeah. That was a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Minor yeah. one, but still. Minor one. I, so, I hope. <laughs> so now you so, want to do the, the, so there's a hidden yeah. entrance. Did you go mm. back to the catacombs? Not yet. No, I can go do that now. That's oh. not that far away, right? That's, let me think. What's yeah, the easiest? Far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Let's so sprint a, there. Another question here. This is from uh, Brumagen, I think. Uh, do you still enjoy playing other games while you're developing your own? Do you find it difficult to separate mm. the gamer and developer side of yourself, or is it more worthwhile to always be kind of on the lookout for innovative ideas? Oh, for sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. so, yeah, I mean, yeah, we still play, uh, I mean, mo most games, I don't want to say all the games, but... Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. We, we, we're late. I mean, the thing is, you, you, you have this uh, pile of shame, right? So right. I'm playing uh, Nier Automata these days, oh, cool. which is like, I, I should have played this game. a year that ago. Game is really <laughs> good, yeah. But I just got yeah. to it now because yeah. I got done with Horizon Zero Dawn right. and I'm like, I'm, so I'm late, but I'm, you know, <laughs> getting there. You're getting there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I also all, play, all the team yeah. doing that too, I think. Yeah. Everybody's a gamer and then we're all like, oh, yeah. have you seen this? I'm on the Pride and, and yeah. Totally. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm notoriously bad at platformers, so I, I, I start <laughs> all of them, but <laughs> I never, I never, never finish, finish. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But you know that that's that's because I'm I'm holding my hand high coordination is really bad. <laughs> I'm really good at RPGs though. There you, <laughs> there you go. go. Yeah. yeah. You like that's the turn-based like take yeah, it Persona easy. Five? Yeah. Give it. Oh, to yeah. Me. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, what is the quickest way I can get back? Is it just to go through from? What's that? The, what's the quickest way I can get back to? Catacombs. Is it just going all the way through Forlorn? There's not like a quick travel. Oh, there's so in the. No, you. Were, I think you were fine. I was fine. Use the, as is. Use the Autumn Hills uh, waypoint. Yeah. So just go through there, right? Okay. Yeah, that'll actually save me a little bit of time, right? The Autumn yeah. Hills waypoint will be a little bit further ahead. Yes. And then there's a new. Uh, there's gotcha. a new shortcut to Catacombs. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. Boom. There we go. And so you should see it. Hold on. Uh, Ooh, maybe I haven't unlocked it. Oh, I see it. It's down, it's up and over and then down, probably. Probably. Pro probably. Who probably. Could say? <laughs> catacombs yeah. go down. That's that's just the way catacombs work. That's just yeah. science. <laughs> that's just science. That's, yep. Yeah. It's ninja science. Ninja science. Okay, ninja science. Yeah. yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, how are you finding Nier so far? Are you, you digging it? How far in are you? I don't get that much time. I don't get that many opportunities to talk about Nier Automata. Uh, <laughs> I'm about the. Uh, it must be about like five hours in. Okay. Yeah. Getting there. And uh, that, that yeah, game it's, goes some places as well. This game yeah. keeps surprising me. It, it will continue to. I'm like very the curious. music is insane. Oh, oh my yeah. god, the music the, is so good. Yeah. And from playing the intro, I didn't really. I thought I knew what it would be. Yeah. And I was, to be honest, a bit disappointed. Yeah. And, and then now. it started hitting me, and uh -huh. I'm like, mm -hmm. bit what? by bit by bit. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I'm. Uh, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. And now I want to replay the intro to see, like, do I see it differently now? Yeah. Or was it actually deliberately a bit um, different? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, for sure, there's uh, there's some genius design uh, right there. Yeah. Nice. It's uh, no, it's a good one. Yeah, I, 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 it was one of those ones that I absolutely, when it was announced, was like, oh yeah, that that's cool. I'm glad the people who like those games will like it. Yeah. Uh, and then it turned out I was the people. I was the people <laughs> who liked those games. Right, right. So right. Yeah, it turns yeah. out sometimes, sometimes you surprise yourself. All right, to time this out, I should have. Oh wait, I can just <laughs> destroy. Uh, you know what? Let me just go for it. I'll take the damage. <laughs> yeah, Ow, it's fine. There's, health, there's yeah. health right here. It's fine. Yeah. Could have been even. There we go. You know. I am oh, really excited to see what speedrunners do to this. Oh, the, it's going to be game. unbelievable. It's really. Yeah. I'm like, uh, you know, it's come up a couple times, and I'm just sitting here watching this, thinking. Oh my god. <laughs> like what will they do? <laughs> right, right. But it's designed you know? to be fun to look at. Yes. Right. Yes, and for sure. when you watch speedrunners, it it's fun because it's it's an enjoyable Just performance. Yeah. But also if it's a ninja that flies through the air, it's right. even cooler. Hey, we put a <laughs> wingsuit on a ninja. I mean why not? Why not? You gotta bring something, right? If you're gonna Totally. Yeah. Alright. This is one of two downward paths I could take. I'm not sure if this is going to be the catacombs path or if it'll be the other one, but I'm happy to find out. Uh, Devolver things. Digital is in chat now saying, Terry, tell the ninja, tell the ninja guy to end <laughs> horror story and shed tears on stream, please. Hi, Devolver. <laughs> uh, hey, Jim. <laughs> I, I, I've cried enough. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Oh, you're not done, my friend. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> man, <laughs> Game's right, not out yeah, yet. So, <laughs> oh, man. I need another so we went to Bit Summit, right? And, sure. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's so cool. And so we're just eating, like, sitting on the sidewalk, eating. Yeah. Taking a, a five-minute break to eat yeah, a yeah. bowl of rice with some, uh, sure. some pork. You and know? then Nigel from the Volver <laughs> me, yeah. sends me a text. And he's like, dude, the, the Ninja Gaiden composer and the game designer are playing your game. Oh, my right God. Now. Oh, wow. So uh, I was done with lunch. <laughs> we started. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. started running back in. Like, toss yeah. the rice over the shoulder, start sprinting. Yeah. And so we, and so we run inside, and, and they're yeah. legitimately there playing like Yoshizawa and uh, Yamagashi. And, and uh, it's like they're, play, they're playing it. And they're having fun, and they and they and it's a big thing, right? So because you yeah. go to, you, yeah. I mean, you go to like, we, we were joking on the plane. It's like, can you imagine like two Japanese uh, developers coming to Quebec to show us their lumberjack <laughs> game? Right, right. You know, it's like, <laughs> sure. How, how, sure. Like, what kind of sense does that make? You know, and, <laughs> and so we're just there, and and so going to Bitsum it was a was a big one, was a big test, right? Because you want to like, will they accept it? Will they see the homage, or will they? Will the they love, think yeah. it's it's poorly made or, or right. it's too easy or it's not sure. or it's it's improperly using a thing that's that's a thing for them, yeah. you know? Yeah. Or whatever, you know, and but then the response was unanimous. Everyone was like, you know, wow, this is so cool that you guys would, would care about this. And it's like, what? Uh. And and then you know, one guy asked, like, so are ninjas cool in Canada? It's like, are they not cool anyway? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I yeah. actually had to explain yeah. to them how ninjas, ninjas were ninjas. cool. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but yeah. And so, but yes, and so meeting them was, was really surreal because they were, you know, they could easily have said like, hey, you're ripping off our thing or whatever, sure, what's right. the deal here, who are you even, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but then no, like they were honored. They, they wanted oh, to wow. take a picture with us. They asked for <laughs> oh the picture. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, wow. and they, they rolled back to us afterwards and stuff. So they, they're really like super honored that oh, yeah. we love their stuff so much yeah. that we actually made something that's a, a kind of a love yeah. letter mm -hmm. and yeah. they really appreciate it. Yeah, and, awesome. the, and then we, we, we kept in touch through email and they're like, ah, oh, oh, please keep making games and entertaining people. We support you. And it's like, so after we took the picture and met them, I, I, I went to cry in the, yeah. uh, in the bathroom. Yeah, I just had Fair. to do it. Just yeah. Yeah. And I, I spent nothing, 15 nothing minutes there crying. Dude, yeah. it's surreal. I've been playing this since I was young. Right, yeah. right. It was, you know, my favorite game. I got an alarm clock just so I could get up one hour oh, earlier in the morning before going to school so I could play Ninja Gaiden too. You that's know? so good. So cool. And now yeah. you got the guy. I still I play this game weekly still and I listen to the soundtrack while working oh, every week, amazing. you know, and it's like, and and they, they, they like it. They, they loved it and they're really honored. And, yeah. that's very and, and they left. leaving, they said. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, and that's when I lost it. They said, they said it's Ninja Gaiden 4. Oh <laughs> my so God. Good. So that that's was like the sweet. moment where, all right, you know, I, I was done. <laughs> 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 You've done the thing. You've made the right. thing. You did it. Whatever yeah. happens next, that happens. You that, got yeah. that. Exactly. exactly. At the very least. Yeah. If we sell like 20 copies, I mean, we made <laughs> it up to here and all of that happens, so I'm still yeah. happy, you know? It's, yeah. Yeah. I'd be sad, though. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sad for you, but I'll be. I, oh. think, I, I think I'd be fine. It'd be yeah. nice to, to make other games. Yeah. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. That's That'd fair. be great. And, and pay our team. And yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Those are important things. things. Yeah. No, yeah. but this. The, and uh, as we were talking about earlier, Martin, like this is this is a uh, this is a fun moment for us because yes. it's like I'm looking at the game and and it's it's a very fortunate position to be in, being so close emotionally to it. Like I'm looking at it and this it's the best I can do. You know. Yeah. It's mm. not like I wish we had a better animator or I wish we right. had two more months or I wish we had a good publisher or whatever. It's like everything is couldn't ask for for a, anything better. So we'll just let the, the public you know decide whether we get to 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 make a, another game. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's oh, a really is, well. This story. one's hard. That's fine. Yeah. I got this. I got this. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally what fine. Life, nope. Right? Nope. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay. I think you're getting squished at least. I'm once. getting. I'm probably getting squished at least once. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's oh not, there it is. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Ah. All right. One squish. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That that's fine. Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. All right. That's, oh wow. That no, left that it, open. No, that's that's too easy. Honestly. Oh yeah. Well, maybe we maybe right, we could. Well, uh, well, let's, let's then we should change that. How much, the, how much more times he dies before getting this? Wait a second. But now I, 
Now what? Wait, wait. Maybe I don't even... Do I not even have what I need? Oh, no. I'm looking for, like, the opening, the next place to go here. You can't just wall jump on the right? No, because I can't go through there. So... See? Oh, no, see? Don't, don't, don't Sorry. Oh, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. I'm a There's fool. a part of my I screen that's obscured, and I'm like, oh. whoa, it's over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, a, I'm just is. missing a very obvious thing. All right, there we go. All right. Little puzzle element. There we go. Oh, oh. nice! I would have bet against that. that yeah. Fair. Fair that to bet against good. that. Yeah. Fair to bet against that. Uh, Wait a second. I have to see what's little changes here. Nothing. Okay. I, love this, I wanted this to make sure track, there was not going yeah, to be yeah. a so trap much. right underneath. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. All right. Nice. So right. once. Got squished once. once. That was yeah. good. Got squished yeah. once. Yeah. Only 30 good. something <sighs> more to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all. Uh, yep. No so problem. Good. Super easy. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm still looking for this. So is it... The hidden area here, is it the one that's like southwest of me, basically? Hmm. That's the only one I'm not, that's I would the only think so. door that I don't see. All right, let's go check that out again. Uh, is this the right way? Yeah, no, no, it is not. It is up and then, yeah. right, right, yeah, so it is this way, yes. So you're working on the animation. What's the right amount of swagger for a ninja? Ooh, that's Did a good question. Did you talk about that at all? Like, what? should he, you know, should he be very, I don't know what swagger means. Uh, so oh, uh, um, like still, uh, cockiness, crowd, crowd pride, panache. Yeah. La panache. démarche, ouais. Ah, oh, la démarche. <laughs> um, right, swagger. So the idea was that a ninja should. I, what, what I what I was saying at the beginning was that the ninja should run in a way that is leaning forward mm. a lot, mm -hmm. that you feel would face plant if. Like the run wasn't fast enough, right? right. right. <laughs> but then there's the specific uh, movement speed you need for the game to make sense, and and the animation has to fit the movement speed. Sure. So it was backtrack a little bit, but you can definitely see the like you know going into little, the action. Yeah. yeah. Always with the hand uh, clutching the the sword. Oh yeah, of oh, course. Oh perfect, yeah. To be ready to strike. There it is. Okay. <laughs> oh. There All we right, go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, explain. Yeah. Oh, that one little dip into the music. That's so that's good. That's so yeah. good, yeah. That, that's Eric for you. Yeah. You know the, yeah. Very good. That's Ooh, a thing that, that's scary. really cool. Oh, yeah, see, so you just found the... Thankfully, I have this candle. Yeah. <laughs> the, oh, yeah that's, that, that's a tough one, though. I'm gonna die. There it is. <laughs> oh. Good to know. You know, sometimes you just die. <laughs> Dark cave, yeah, that's yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> All right, where? Okay, I can. Oh, great! Oh. No, this is gonna go oh. good. Almost. Okay. <laughs> you Stretch it. a little bit. You know. Oh boy. Yeah, Kill a lot again. of folks are saying they love the soundtrack. Cool. The soundtrack, it's getting some thumbs up here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. This yeah, is so good. The, yeah, so the the 16-bit version of the soundtrack is made in a program called Devil Mask. Cool. And uh, he's playing with uh, the Sega Genesis library. Oh, that's I awesome. I thought so. so. That's why that's yeah. definitely you know, that, yeah, that, that like heavy grimy bass kind of that, yeah, 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 totally. Because that's the thing. So Eric was a uh, was Sega, not the Nintendo Sega when person, he was yeah. young. You know, that's like so. as soon as I walked into the shopkeeper theme, the 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 sixteen bit shopkeeper right, theme right, right, yeah. is such a Sega Genesis yeah, right, like yeah. Shadowrun style, like that, like right. brown, like <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. A lot of people, I it, I understand why people love the SNES sound design yeah. a lot too. I do get it. But as a Genesis kid, I mean, I, I actually eventually had both, but like right. Genesis had my heart and I just, there was something about it that just resonates with me. And I didn't, I didn't need that health anyway. That's not a, I didn't. Uh. But the thing is, uh, is the, the SNES was all samples, right? Right. So right. to go with like a, a retro signature that people recognize, it's right. like, okay, but which SNES game though? Right. Because they each totally. add their, their own samples and most of them are, are they're copyrighted. Right, so you can't just So use. Genesis was really like a, you know, it's it was all using the same. Synth. Yeah, 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 it's yeah like an so, actual synth instrument. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a race, okay, cool, good. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh. Oh, I missed it. It's all right, oh, oh it's gonna beat me. Oh, it's okay, you oh, don't sorry. have to... Oh, do I not have to beat it? It'll just open the, the uh, thing, okay. yeah. 
Because I know in one of the I levels, probably should have let you get stressed about <laughs> it. Yeah, you should have let me get stressed about <laughs> it. Because there's, there's that whole, the, right the, there. the uh, Tower of Time has all of those yeah. great little puzzles right, around right. that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, where the, the lasers come the back. The lasers, yeah, yeah, yeah come back. Yeah, you used to like, beat yeah. them there, which I liked a lot. Oh, this is good and creepy. Great. Rivière Turquoise. Rivière Turquoise. The only thing in the game that isn't that is, translated. That is not translated yet. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get the French touch going. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Are you gonna leave it untranslated? Are you gonna no, yeah, it? it's, it's called the Rivière Turquoise. Okay. Awesome, perfect. Love so, it. this area was uh, desecrated by the demons and it was mm. all burned out and it's all charred. Yeah. But in the future, there's a... Beautiful, the butterfly uh, matriarch. Oh. She she came uh, around and she made everything uh, beautiful again. So in the future version, in the 16-bit, it's all lush. It's all restored. Ah, I Wait. Oh, so close. It's all right. I should have used the grapple. <laughs> this is there is a little bit of castle. The rope dart. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, rope. Yeah. Sorry, not the grapple. Hook, the rope dart. Everyone, it's yeah, a, that's, that's a ninja. I mean, it's a ninja. I mean, even the game. Uh, even oh, the game. Oh, you're a gamer. The, yeah. We predicted gamer. that gamers would we'll just call, call it the, the grappling the, hook. The, yeah. grappling grappling hook right? the game gamer. even says it. The game even says yeah. like, oh, you're just gonna call this the grappling hook, though, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Assign this better this time. There we go. I do love that mouth. The little animation. For oh, the it's very just, good. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. I just want Corbel to stop eating all my time we shards. Got, uh, we got some oh, merch for PAX coming. That's gonna be pretty cool. Oh, for nice. yeah. Corbel. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Corbel. Yeah. Oh, wow. Corbel is yeah. awesome. A, yeah. And there's Oops. a portal. Perfect. That butterfly matriarch did good here. That's you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just check in for a second, come back through. Yeah, damn, she did a very good she job. Did a nice job here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on now, let's go. Hope you just probably Oh wait. Okay, there we go. There you go. Yep, great. Good. Love to just put spikes. She did a good job, except for all the <laughs> spikes yeah, she, she left hanging stuff. around. Yeah, oh, she should be calling and, up. And also Spiky know. balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, is it gonna be quicker to No, it won't be. It's all right. It's all right. Let's do this one more time. Gargira is asking, do Dead. levels always start in 8-bit? Sounds like narratively it would make sense. But... Um, uh, so the game itself, it starts in 8-bit, and it's like that for the first 10 levels. Mm -hmm. Eventually, when you look back around, you see everything in 8 and 16-bit. Gotcha. But then you, you find the levels, you enter the levels in the time period that you entered them, basically. Oh, so I we exited the Dark Cave. So we're in the Catacombs, 16-bit. So we entered the dark cave in 16-bit, but then there was a portal and we exited in 8-bit, right. so we're in 8-bit when the, the other gotcha. level begins. We basically designed it in a way that it's presented in the way that's the most interesting. In the case of this level, it's it's really cool to see the, the charred version first and then see the lost yeah. version. Right. Yeah. So this one happens to be presented like that, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool effect, yeah. You come back and... I'm trying to see if there's, is yeah. there a save I can make here somewhere? It what won't. Do you mean? Like so, I don't have to do that intro a little bit again. I'm guessing there's a there's probably a, a shop somewhere pretty close by to here. Oh, probably yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna ride this down this time. Buy always depends on your state of mind at a specific moment. Yeah. <laughs> True. Oh, oh, oh. I remember mm. having a really hard time playing that. Uh, that, that part for the first right time. Yeah. I, I was like dying a lot. I was like that checkpoint is. It's <laughs> a it's a far one. That far. <laughs> There but we go. again, as long as I can make that first jump, I'm not the the good platformer. Totally. So. Believe it or not, neither am I. I'm having a good time with this, but I'm I am oh, uh, much better su than I. Surprisingly, you said that I was about to just immediately jump in that river. <laughs> in my own head now, I'm on, I'm on tilt here. Let's just land here and then just do the jump from there. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Don't hit your head, you know. There we go. Mm, nice. One of the things is, yeah, when you mentioned speedrunner, one of the things that's going to be funny with the quarble mechanic is that, you know, when people speedrun, you know, ideally, if if, if they have quarble falling, it's because they fucked up somewhere. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so they'll be trying uh, to perform very no well. No also run. It's the, yeah. the dunce cap, yeah. 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 Right. You want the dunce <laughs> cap, you know. <laughs> yeah. Performing in front of, the, of an audience with a sure. dunce cap. There we go. <laughs> that's well, it. like the, I'm no, sure there's going to be like any percent, no quarble. Runs, That'd you know, like a category of yeah, right, of no quarrel, yeah, totally. <laughs> Let's chat. Tell me about this area. Is there a, re a lower reason oh. for why this ninja can't swim? 
Good question. Swim pretty well now. Oh, so the ninja dies in the in the in the case of this level. It's like fast current, so it, oh. it ah. acts like a pitfall. But in general, in the game, there is swimming Ooh. and underwater yeah. parts and all of that. That was a badass log landing. Yeah. Very close one. <laughs> Very close one. Mm. I like this song. I always dance in trade shows when this, this is good. Come yeah. On. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and let's grab an upgrade really quick so finally can get one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do I want... Oh, going too fast. HP plus one potions have fully heal. Very useful. Do I want Centered Mind? Mm, I think I want the HP. I need the HP. There we go. Only uh, another... Oh, I'm very close to that one. Okay. All right. So we're getting close-ish to two, yep. just to give you a time check. Sounds but good. Let's get a little bit deeper into this, and, and we'll yeah. see. Maybe we won't make it to the boss, but that's okay. There are there are a ton of great bosses uh, sure. that the players will see pretty early on. Oh, this is a this is a very oh I love this, this. is a very good yeah. Speaking of Genesis, this feels like a lot, I mean, I guess it also feels probably a lot like DK for you. A little bit, yeah, you know, with right? the flowers, little, the flowers and, the and, the, and, the and the bouncing, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do folks that in chat have good. more questions? Go ahead and, and put them in there. I'm sure now that I've said that, it's going to be 72. 70 questions. Now I'm like, yep. oh god, which one? <laughs> okay, Ooh. this isn't that bad. This is classic. Look at that. That's that's nice work. Early game stuff right there that I should should not have any problem with. <laughs> Unlike oh. this, where <laughs> I just decided just, just jump into it. Why not? <laughs> this switch is very good. I like this uh, yeah. this color color change. Okay, nothing here. Uh, mm. I just love the pop of the colors where they show up here. Yeah. It's so nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Brumagen says, taking that hit shaves off 0.3 seconds. Uh, <laughs> classic speedrunner. Speed runner. strat, you know? for speed when strat. something goes bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I was damage boosting. Yep. <laughs> That's, I use that yeah, excuse in the quarrel quote about damage boosting. Well, oh, there so has yeah. to be. Oh, God. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't remember all of them. Oh, yeah. Shoot. There's so many. It's in there, maybe. <laughs> oh, they were, they were written oh. a long time ago. Oh. Nice. Nice save. save there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, close one. But yeah, about about damage boosting, we also have a, it's called the air recover. It's kind of like in the Street Fighter 2 where, mm -hmm. you know, as you're flying off, you get the jump. Yeah. And so you, you need to buy it as an upgrade. But uh, yeah, the idea being that uh, you can damage boost, but like with extra... A little extra momentum or like uh, movement along with it. Ooh, okay. Jump. Okay. <laughs> Patrick's in chat saying, I wonder what it would be like to see a true gamer play Oh, this. yeah. That's a good question, yeah. Patrick. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Just come over. I'm, do I'm doing my best. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Grab this last focus power sense, which will show me where all we the power We actually have are. a few speedrunning questions, including uh, if there's going to be a lot of RNG or not. I guess we'll see at the next, you know, next AGDQ here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what saying. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to think if there's anything that I could think of. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fucking speedrunner. I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> I have not seen much in the way of RNG. One second, I gotta know what's down there. Though. We don't have a. We have a few bosses that uh, re do random patterns. Sure. Uh, but the intention was to balance them in a way that no matter which pattern they pick, in the end, it's 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 all the same. Sure. Time sure. wise. Yeah. Uh, but then you know, speedrunners will come up with a with a twist that like one pattern is better than the other. And, right. Yeah. And I think. I think that will have to be like yeah, probably an update at some point to make sure that the game can be speed run, you know, sure. or speed run or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, in in a, in a way that's like predictable and consistent. You know, sure. when they they. Uh, so oh, we'll see how we did because you know we don't have a speed running yeah. expert on the team. Oh, right, you know? oh, Chris. Right. But that, that's for sure something we want to to address if there's any any concerns there. Yeah. 
Uh, I just had the most. I had a death so bad that Martin just turned and looked at me. You saw me, right? I saw you turn and look like, what were you doing? And well, the really? answer was, just, just I was like, I, I fell off. And, and fell very slowly. I was like, I'm just gonna fall out. There. I didn't see the bottom of the and screen like, where oh, okay. it's indicating that that's a death drop. Even and I not don't a, do that. Uh, yeah, that was a bad <laughs> one. That was a bad moves? one. All yeah. right, here we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, not Diglett, a Diglett one. here is asking about uh, difficulty, and it sounds like. Well, Bal balance to be. I didn't die. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, you know, I didn't get the power c coin, the power token. Power seal. Power seal. Power seal yeah. Thank you. Nice slow. But I did. Oh. Now we're good. Boom. Um, power seal. Yeah, I actually found with the bosses. There's actually there are some strategies that even if they have a little bit what feels like RNG in terms of which. Uh, phase they go into, um, mm -hmm. which pattern they go into. Yeah. That's like there are definitely some like exploitable strategies and man some manipulation that you can do. Right. I'm sure the speedrunning like uh, uh, scene will just completely blow open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, too early. Too early. Too oh, early. Oh, nope. Oh. I'm gonna boost through it. I'm gonna boost through it. We're fine. Look at that. Save again. Point three seconds. I think you might be the true gamer. Here, that's it. You know. Uh, I also do keep unplugging the controller, so if you ever see me like not hit a button during dialogue, it's because I'm pulling the controller too far away from the oh PC. No. It's fine. It's no, it's it's not anything on that side. It's the, it's this. It's like the yeah. connector. It's a wobbly mm -hmm. controller connector. Yeah, it's not All the right. best one. Uh, Patrick Mecha... says, "Wow, convenient." Listen. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nope. We should gonna, just oh. change his name to True Gamer in the chat. In the chat, please. Yeah, please. Just name it. Sorry, I kept interrupting that oh, no, question. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, Mecha Madoka says, during development, did you play a recent-ish game that made you reflect on your design and go, oh, shit, we should change, you know, oh. X? <laughs> um, no, I don't think there's been, like, a, you know, one moment where it's like, whoa, you know, we're, we're doing this this mechanic and uh, it's been done or whatever. Like, I mean, yeah. if a game had come out and there was, like, cloud stepping, it's like, yeah, okay, well. <laughs> right. Sure. It's a very yeah. specific yeah. thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I think it's just like a, a constant. Um, the, the main the main thing we did was replay uh, retro games. Cool. Which sure. we still do. I mean, I have a big retro collection. Well, big. It's it's all relative. But I have uh, you know over two hundred cartridges and. Oh yeah. And yeah. I still play this as much as I'll play my PS4 or Switch. You know so. Nice. And so it was a lot of like, you know, just back cataloging like, oh, let's play Power Blade. Let's play, you know. Wow. Yeah. yeah and so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And 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 really in a way to to analyze them, you know, and, and figuring out like what worked, what didn't really work, what made sense, what's fun. And it's it's very much like it's almost kind of like a pruning process of mm -hmm. like, oh, Ooh. this still holds up. This we need to rethink. You know, like Corbel is you can't really do lives and continues anymore, but you still need a penalty for dying. So it's like let's make it fun. Let's add to the narrative. Let's yeah. you know build the world with one more character. You know. But then some some things that just that just already made sense, you just leave them as is, and you try to treat them properly, you know, yeah. into what you're trying to make. But but yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, missed it. Oh. Oh, I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll make it. Whew. Close one though. Thanks, Kichidi. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Had some good questions from them. Yeah. Just about to. Oh, there we go. Okay. So maybe like five more minutes and we'll wrap yeah, up maybe? Yeah, sounds good. All right, well, this, we got a good one. Good design question here from uh, Big Knife. Bad, 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 this bad, might bad, be a bad. weird question. How did you get the platforming physics down until it felt right? Was it just months of trial and error? I feel like I can tell whether or not I like a platformer based on its jump, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I, it does make sense, and I agree 100%. Um, well, so part of it was... was uh, Instinct, you know, uh, again being, because uh, we've been making games for almost uh, yeah. 10 years before, you know, starting this. Uh, and and the, the vision was really clear of what we were uh, trying to make with this. So, but the main thing was, it's kind of an ironic challenge because modern engines, they do too much, right? You want to get those rough pixels to display properly when the camera is scrolling and you want to get those NES physics going, but there's like easing and, and everything yeah. and smoothing out uh, and all the physics. There's like, the, the movement gets... Uh, and so for the controls to really feel tight, it's like you're pressing left, you're going left. You're not like slowing and slowing down and then accelerating right. and, then, and then you're going left. You're, you're constantly at full speed on your character, basically. It's kind of like driving uh, without the, I don't know what the word is, but without the thing that assists you, you know? Yeah. And so you just, and so nope. the, the main thing w was for, for it to feel retro, genuinely retro, right? Uh, 
but without the, the thing that were a bit more annoying, like controls would be stiff sometimes or your character would stick to right. places you don't really, or it was hard to align shots sometimes and things like that. And so, yeah, the, the idea is to, it, was to, is, it was to find that balance, you know, between uh, what feels retro and what feels modern, but just the, the, the best of both it's worlds in a way. So yeah, so yes, it is months of uh, so trial and error. It, it so is months of, of uh, yeah, just iteration and like it's it's in the little things like um, you know just just maybe a quick example. If if you wait like so for your in order for your character to jump right, you got to be grounded. Otherwise, you're jumping in the air and that's not the gameplay. That's not the gameplay. You're supposed to to be on the floor. But then if you wait for the the event coming from the engine telling you that hey you touched the floor so now you can reactivate your jump. Right. It feels a bit off because mm -hmm. sometimes you'll be missing jumps because as the player you're you're always predicting what's about to happen and you're a few frames in the in the future, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. And so you press when you're about to hit the floor, not when not once you've hit the floor. Yeah. And so the idea is that you're yeah, I get that when playing like a game like CS:GO when the game ends and everything freezes, I get a bigger a, a bit of a nausea, you know, because I I'm still predicting the next movement yeah. of the camera and then it doesn't happen. It's kind of like whoa, or kind of like when someone's driving and they turn and you, you didn't expect them I to. You're like, staring, you get yeah. this little jarring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so the idea is to have like prediction algorithms in, in the movement to to let you pull off a move when you're about to be able to pull it off, and then when you actually physically can. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that we're so that we're in your headspace of like. In the prediction that you have playing out, that's where the the input is is accepted. Ooh, you know, in my own head. So yeah. this is all theoretical, you know, and, and we'll see how we did. Yeah. But that the intention was to to be sort of uh, uh, oh. s uh, sensitive to that uh, and and try to you know yeah, offer that. controls that. And I think because the main thing we hear, so two things we always hear whenever we show the game is it's kind of neat that the music kind of uh, muffles uh, underwater yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, the <laughs> controls are tight. It's the two things nice. that, you yeah. know, so it's like, we'll see, but I think with the controls, uh, we're, we're in a, a good place. Oh, hopefully. Good, yeah. 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 Well, it feels great. No, that was just me being bad at the game. That's what that was. Yeah. Oh yeah, except when you, <laughs> when you unplug your controller. Yeah, right? except for that. That's the only time. <laughs> All right, nice and patient. I had no problem with this the first like three times and then just go on tilt sometimes, you know, you just lose the basics like that. Like you just miss yeah. an easy fireball, downward hit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a simple, stuff at the same time it's in a that simple area, thing. right? Yeah. Totally. So there's a question about whether or not the iteration on physics also went concurrently with level design, if you sort of revisited yeah. some of that as mm -hmm. well. Absolutely, cool. yeah. Cool. So that's, a, it's a, that's the thing with, uh, with uh, doing. your so metrics, doing right? Yeah. Um, right. And that, oh, all of a sudden the character runs uh, 1.3 times faster than the maximum long jump you can do is, sure. uh, is also affected by that and the maximum jump height and things like that. So that's the first thing we did was to find the fun in and, and the kind of like the definitive approach into what's the size of the character on the screen, mm -hmm. what's the maximum jump height, what's the running speed right. and all that yeah. so that, you know, because this all kicks into, okay, what can we then make with the game? Um, and, and most of it for us was to remove limitations. We just felt it was more fun. It's like less things to manage. It mm -hmm. feels like you should be able to do something. We just let you do it. So at first it was like, oh, one or two cloud steps per jump. Sure. But then you got to buy an upgrade to be able to do it five times. And it's like, ah, screw, no, screw all of that. that. It's yeah. just, you can do it uh, all you can eat. Like as long as you can pull <laughs> it off, you're in the air, you know? And nice. so, and so and then we just need to do level design that that gives you opportunities to use that, you know, yes. and, and that Some take into account that, you know, th th those mechanics and so, yeah. Yeah, Listen. Quarble is the name of the little devil <laughs> that follows you. I'm a big fan already of Quarble. Oh, Sounds Quarble? like Natalie is too already. <laughs> big, big fan of Quarble. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> missed it, missed it, missed it. We're good, we're good, we're good. We got this. Oof. Almost back to where I died last time. Not last time, but. Yep. There it is. Really wish I had another shuriken. Really oh. wish I had oh. another shuriken. No, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, I didn't buy that upgrade, did you? I bought the one that was about, I, I bought, did yeah. Oh, did you buy the one that uh, that uh, the, uh, the shuriken oh, nice. pierces enemies? Yes, that okay. I did, but it only, oh, you know what? You're right, I, I just got the one that wants to pierce through two enemies. I could have just lined it up perfectly. I was trying to sneak it by because until just a second ago, I'd only had the one that let me pierce a single enemy, not pierce through two things. Right. Ah, yeah. All right, oh, here we go. Oh, this is so good. 
Last time I died very foolishly right there. So <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Nice. All right, making progress. All right, making progress. Oh, a checkpoint. Oh, and a checkpoint. Yay. That's sweet, sweet Nice checkpoint. and simple glide. There it is. Checkpoint. Beautiful. Let's do some bouncing. A little Sonic Spinball. Love it is it. a little. It is a little Love Sonic it. Spinball. Yeah. It totally is. <laughs> okay. I've been playing a lot of Sonic Mania. All right. Really. You have been. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is there a? Oh. Can I, oh, can I? I can't hit these, can I? Let's see. I can. There okay, you go. There we go. That's that's the stuff nice. right there. Nice. That's the stuff. <sighs> Puzzles I, I can do okay. Uh, <laughs> so the other stuff that's too tired for me. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's gonna mouse me back. It's gonna. Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh. We're good. Oh. All right. That's so satisfying. That's yeah. a very satisfying feeling. <laughs> it's like it's just like you know, so many parts of a game like this are so hands-on that anytime you're like, ah, oh, a little break, I can just like let this cool thing happen on the screen <laughs> is gonna feel great. Ah, oh, cool. Right. Yeah, so that's that a good uh, point to bring up too, is pacing and like getting the pacing right oh, yeah. and not being like 100% sure. the whole time, you For know, sure. having those little breaks yeah, and yeah. such. And that's the other thing is like these uh, <laughs> missed the second these flowers though. that shoot you around, It's that's the only level where you see them, you know? Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, so yeah. it's like they're just unboarded briefly, then there's a bit of a challenge, then there's the ultimate challenge, and then we're done with it. You know? Nice. Like, you yeah. don't see it in every level, you don't, you know, it's, and again, you know, to, again to the yeah. point like which, which serving is, is actually interesting and that's what we're looking at when it feels like it's dragging. It's like, ah, let's, let's remove, you know? Sure, totally. Sure. It, the, the whole idea being to like distill instead of dilute, you know? Yes. yes. That everything, like, so you take a game like a, like a, well, I mean, it's an obvious one to point out, but Chrono Trigger, right? Which mm -hmm. is about 15 hours, whereas RPGs were usually like in the 40s, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's like, why? It's just because the density, like, there's just always something happening. And then the dungeons are not too long. Like, the moment yeah. you've kind of had enough, I think Mass Effect 2 had that as well between like dialogue and combat. Like the moment you've had enough is, is the moment it's over, you know? Yeah, it's kind exactly. of like the idea to try to always be there, but then it can be a yeah. hard balance to hit because you're making the game so you, so you don't have the proper, you know? Right, right, right. You know what's going to happen, so maybe you're bored, but players wouldn't be. Right. Maybe right, you're right. used, maybe you like it, but it's, it's enough that for them, be. so that's kind of like, you know. Yeah. So again, we'll see, we'll see how. Uh, how it all shakes out. It's always a challenge, right? Yeah. <laughs> totally. I, one of my questions there is like, how do you, in the design process, differentiate between something that you want to be for just one level and something like the rope dart where you're like, no, this is core for the whole game. Mm -hmm. How do you know when like something is a is a an idea that you want to be foundational, fundamental to the entire experience, versus just like a really good level. Right. Gimmick is, is maybe too rude of a word or too harsh of a word, but right. you know what I mean, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, so the, the idea being that your character is, so like the, the those, we just call them the barrel flowers because it's very much a uh, Donkey Kong yeah. Country yeah. inspired. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> and so these barrel flowers, there's just in that one level because it makes sense in that level because it's the lush environment, so right. it, it would have, you know, uh, flora, but, um, and it, also, it's like, cool, it's a neat mechanic, which is fun for a little while, but you get bored of it pretty quickly, right. whereas the rope dart, it's consistently fun to use, right? And right. so the, so from that, it was more about pacing of when do we give you all the moves. So we don't want to hit you with everything up front, because then you're kind of lost and what to right. use. So we present you with a moment where, oh, here you're stuck, so here's an upgrade, right? Right. Uh, and, and then moving forward, you, you can use it however you want. There's a secret um, that way, okay. But so, but to answer your question more directly, the, your character is is persistent, whereas levels are not. Right. right so, right. if it's a gameplay ingredient that's in the environment, we're free to use it or not. Whereas right. if we give something to your ninja, then it's there's no real excuse to remove it ever. You know. Right. It wouldn't really be fair to backtrack on like, oh, we gave you the subgrade, but then this you don't you don't get to use yeah, it anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind of yeah. would feel unfair. You know. So we pay close attention to when when we reward you with a new item because we understand that from that point. On you can you can use you it, can forever. Use it forever. So right, right, yeah, right. like the first bus would be way too easy if you had the rope dart, you know. Sure would, yeah. <laughs> so that's the idea, yeah. I'm just enjoying this music. This, this is this good. This vibe is a good yeah. vibe. I mean, there we go. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Maybe we should call it there. I'm guessing there's probably one more big section and then a boss, probably. Yeah. I know, to you. What time is it? It's like two now. Yeah, it's two or six. Probably wrap it up. We have a, a pretty busy day going forward. I have a pretty hard out, so yeah. coming up. But I'm really enjoying the game so far. 
Uh, again, no, no specific date, but near future, 20, 2018 for sure. Oh, for sure, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Okay, cool. awesome. No, no, like ver very soon. Right. You're right. on the tour. We're actually going to announce the, the date very soon. Okay, okay and, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, this should move forward pretty sooner quickly. than nice. you would think hearing awesome. very soon. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well, awesome. So glad to, to join you guys and, and have you here to show off the game. Hey, thanks for having Chat having about us, it. Uh, yeah. Announcements at Gamescom. You'll be at, ga or you'll be at Gamescom. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, we'll, we won't be on the show floor we'll against but, but you know, we'll be at the Devolver booth in the business area. Awesome. We'll, nice. we'll be at cool, PAX cool, West. Cool. We'll be, uh, you know, so the whole team will be at PAX West. Yeah, Great. that's cool. Awesome. Nice. Everyone, Some yeah. of your uh, Some of us, readers yeah. are <laughs> coming to PAX West. Come and say hi. We'll have a booth yeah. in the I'll Devolver totally. booth. I'll be there. I'll see you guys there. And uh, all the team will be there. Meet Corbel, you know. Yeah. That would be good. Get a Corbel tattoo. There it is. There you go. Let's have some wild PAX nights end up with some Corbel tattoos. Hey, sometimes you meet a demon boy, you get his tattoo. You get a tattoo. That's it. Uh, Y'all, uh, where, where can people find you on the internet? Twitter or? Yeah, Twitter, at Messenger Game is, uh, or at Sabotage QC is basically our handles that we uh, announced. Uh, Devolver does talk about the game too. Uh, if not, we have our Facebook page, so everybody's Perfect. welcome to join in there. But Yeah. yeah. Awesome. awesome. Well, thanks for hanging out. Uh, Thank, you I Thank you very much. Y'all have a good time uh, with the remainder of your stay here in New York. I hope the oh, city's yeah. Heat I hear it's going to rain a lot tomorrow. Yep. Perfect. Classic New York weather. <laughs> going to gonna do some museums or inside. You should. Good no. Definitely go yeah, to yeah. visit some museums. Yeah. We Very listened good. to most uh, Monday's episode of Waypoint Radio for some museum reviews. We took a, a weird lot, lot no, museum detour. Yeah, yeah, absolutely we did. All right. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we will be back in a little bit with some uh, Dead Cells. Patrick's going to play, and I think I'm going to join him on the call to taunt him as he does so. So stick <laughs> around for that. We'll be back momentarily. Peace.